Hello, everybody. Oh, we're going live again, guys. Going live. I gotta test some stuff. Gotta test some stuff. Make sure I got this uh, set up correctly for now. Let's see what we got here. Uh oh. Gotta make sure I get chat up and running. Okay. 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 There we go. Let me make sure. All right, good. Good. All right, guys, let's see what we got going on today. Let's see what happens, yeah? Let's see what happens. Hopefully we have a better day than yesterday. Lower my music a little bit. A little bit. I'm gonna check my live stream sound a bit. Uh, there we go, just making sure, hold on. A little bit. Hopefully it's not too loud. It might be adjusted. Oh, I didn't adjust any of my audio. Uh, oh well. Oh well. What's up, Rad Lab? What's up, man? How you doing, buddy? Hey guys, I'm gonna do an audio test. I'm gonna clap. Let me know how off uh, the audio is, okay? My mic audio is uh, for later, okay? Uh, hopefully, if it's not too bad, uh, maybe I won't adjust now, but if it's too bad, maybe I'll stop and just restart and adjust it a little bit. All right, here we go, all right? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. All right, let me know, guys. Let me know how it goes. Three, two, one. All right, let me... I don't know. I was trying to listen to it myself. I was trying to hear myself. Let me know how bad it is. Oh my god, everybody. Happy Thursday, everyone. What's up, Laz? I had another stream going, so it was lagging a bit. Sure thing, Flies. All right, here we go, guys. I'm going to try and listen to it as well. Here we go. You ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Right, I'm going to listen back. Two, one. Three, two, one. Right, gonna... It actually seemed okay. It didn't seem too bad. It didn't seem too bad. You couldn't tell? Rad Lab, things seemed okay. I'm just making sure audio is mostly synced right now. You know what we do in our pre-game warm-up here. You know how we do our pre-game warm-up. I know, right, Flaz? It was dropping frames for me, too. That's okay. Timing is funny. Eat a little snack. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna eat a little snacky snack. Mmm, so good. Let's hear it. Let's hear it, Rad. Let's hear it, man. Seems good enough. Flies, okay, good. I'm happy. I am happy for that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I guess I might tweet out. Good enough. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
What's up, Coco? Hi. How's it going, Coco? Hi. I hope, guys, I hope we don't have any stream problems today. I hope my stream doesn't freeze. My, my capture card up doesn't freeze. I did some fixes. I think I figured out why it was freezing yesterday. I hope it's fixed. Uh, I'm not 100% happy with uh, audio, but I think it's okay. I think it'll be okay. Mm, let's see here. Your uh, Rad Lab using a UDP sockets. You check Wireshark. Your sockets are sending and receiving super fast. So my game is one second delayed between the clients. Any idea? Rad Lab, uh, where is your server and where is your client? Where are they located? I mean, are they on the local machine? Or are they across the Atlantic? Coco Hut, how you doing, man? How's it going? Hmm. Servers are all local, Rad. And really, you're seeing a one second delay? Are you sure? Is it your own network code? Is it like all homebrewed network code? One second, guys. Sorry, I'm just re responding to an email. Give me one moment. All right, sit. Well, all right, so let's see. What's up, Screamer? How you doing, buddy? What's for supper tonight, Illy's? I don't even know yet, man. I don't even know yet. I just had this little, like, pizza tortilla roll-up thing. That was my snack for the day. Hopefully that keeps me going through the night. Um. Okay, it's your own networking code. Do you have a loopback problem due to both client servers? Uh, I don't think you have a loopback problem. Rad, as long as you're using uh, different ports, right? As long as it's not you're trying, you, which you can't use, um, can't use the same socket. Uh, but you have a one second delay. Uh, uh, Rad, I'm assuming you've implemented your own little ping system, basically where you send a ping request to the server, and the server responds with a pong, and your timing from when you sent the ping, and then when you hit the pong, you know, uh, you know what the start and end time was, and you can get a uh, delay on that. Uh, I'm assuming you've implemented something like that, right? Have you? Have you? I'm just curious. Man, that was good. That was good. Welcome to the stream, everybody. If you've never been here at the beginning of one of my streams, 
This is our pre-stream count-up. Uh, this is kind of where we hang out, eat some snacks, talk and chat, get ourselves prepared for the day. Yeah, no delay with the initial ping pong hello notification. De delay starts when I send. Oh, so Brad, uh, like halfway through your test, uh, are you continuing to send ping pongs? Uh, and if you are, are those okay? Is SG One worth a watch? I have no idea, Illies. That's a good question, Illies. <laughs> Is Stargate SG One worth a watch? I like it. I mean, it, I think anything's worth a watch. Whether you continue to watch it is a uh, is another issue. Right? Right? Basically, Red, what I'm trying to get at is if your very simple ping pong uh, notification, uh, is that getting slow over time? Or does that say consistently fast and it's just your movement notifications? That was sarcasm? Oh, I'm back, Tara. I'm back, dude. I'm back every day, Tara. Nothing keeps me down, Tara. Nothing keeps me down, man. We fix it and we and we just oh, we keep trucking down, man. We keep trucking on. Yesterday was a was not a fun day, I'll say that much though. I have hopes. I have hopes for today. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. I don't want to jinx it. I'm gonna knock on some wood right now. I'm gonna knock on some wood that uh, the screen keeps refreshing. Okay, so only player two. Huh. So okay, so it's not. It's nothing. So that Rad, Rad, that's telling me. Your basic networking system is not introducing any type of weird delay. Um, so basically, player one sends a movement packet to the server, and then the server is echoing that back out to player two, right? And in player two, receiving a movement packet from player one is a one second round trip delay. Is that what you're saying? Already had the day from hell for all of us. Oh, Screamer, you want to talk about it? Do you want you want to talk about it, Screamer? I'm getting it off your chest. We're here to listen. We're here to help. Okay, Rad. Then uh, obviously, I think there's you can narrow down your debugging and your investigation into um, two places into two places one uh where are you doing this echo where you doing this proxy redirection right i understand rad so i don't think it's a network delay i think you're having some type of delay in your code and i don't know your network engine i don't know if you're like prioritizing packets on some timestamp basis um for high priority to low priority type packet um execution Maybe you have a bug in that. Something like that. Uh, how's it going, Aiden? But it doesn't sound like your network layer is where the uh, problem is. It sounds like it's somewhere... Unfortunately, my friend, sounds like it's somewhere... Or fortunately, because it means you can fix it within your code on how you're handling this stuff, right? If your ping pong system, which is very simple and that's fast, I think your basic uh, um, send-receive uh, system's okay. Uh, I would look around how you're forwarding these packets on from player one to player two at the server and maybe how you're handling packets as they come in um, on player two from the server. Save the server station. I'm so sorry, Rad. I'm so sorry. Hold on, a colleague of mine is Skyping me, saying I'm wrong. I think you can leave it there. Aw, oh, Screamer. I'm so sorry, dude. Yeah, thanks for taking the bullet for us for today. You live, toys. You live! Were you, uh, was that not an option for today, toys?
Uh oh. So if I get if my video, by the way, guys, if the video doesn't happen, what what yesterday happens, I'm gonna I'm like ninety percent there of uh, being very confident in my new streaming setup. I need to fix my audio situation. I um. I picked up a USB, a uh, little USB mixer, so I can do my audio mixing. But it's a really, I gotta take it back, because it's a really bad mixer, unfortunately. Whenever USB gets plugged into the mixer, there's this 1K uh, hub that gets introduced to all the output channels, and even through the USB. It's like some really bad uh, grounding issue in uh, the mixer. Or uh, some um, some voltage bleed or something. It's a really really horrible hum. So uh, I just got to get a different mixer, and I think I'll get my audio uh, situated perfectly. Elite SVC, man, I'm awesome. You Matt? Whoa, massive migraine, dude. I'm sorry, toys. I'm sorry. I'm sodding. Okay, hold on. Let me see if this is. My old headset did something like that. Luckily, the dog destroyed them last week, so I got a new wireless headset. <laughs> luckily, Flaz, luckily. I like it, dude. Uh, I told you, you managed to fix even problem last night by doing a task pool and making an event manager hand it all. See, toys, didn't I say, didn't I say you probably want to fire those events on separate threads? And it looks like that's exactly what you're doing. Uh, I think. Uh, right on, dude, right on. Glad you got to fix them, man. This is, I'm um, glad you got it fixed. What's up, Felios? What's up, nerd? Felios, hello, everybody. I'm gonna be like flipping back and forth to uh, be monitoring my stream for probably the first like three hours today, guys. Yesterday was so bad. Every two hours, my capture card would freeze up. My capture card would just freeze up, and the only fix was to restart OBS. That was the only fix. Oh, I did it like three times and I'm like, I can't do it anymore tonight. What do you, what's with the time? What do you mean, nerd? Oh, that's right. They added time. I need to fix that. Um, I need to fix that on my chat, uh, nerd. Maybe I'll do that later tonight after I've been streaming. Maybe I'll fix up my chat bot. I need to uh, get rid of the time off of my stream. And give mod uh, to users on join and all. Yep. Yeah, you'll get their toys. It sounds like you're coming along pretty nicely, man. I'm glad I could help. I'm glad I could help. What? I can't see nerds' messages? What do you mean? Of course you can. 
Oh, Felos, he's on. So if you don't know by now, Felios, I dual streamed both Twitch and LiveCoding.tv. Decide where you want to go watch me. Uh, and I merged the chat rooms of both of those live on my stream. So you can... So you basically, you guys can talk across the internet. Isn't technology wonderful? Yeah, nerd. Um, they added... They added timestamps to chat, which is awesome, by the way, on Live Coding TV. Uh, but th it does mean that now my chatbot is slightly broken because of it. Bastards. Them, them peoples! Should we get started, guys? Should we, uh, should we jump into this? Okay, sorry. Just had to reply to that. Gotta send out my replies. I gotta send out my uh, Reddit post, and then I think we can get started. Remember when video phones were an unbelievable way out there? Oh, I know, Flaz, right? I remember it, Flaz. Uh, Flaz, Flaz. Did, you, did it was anyone old enough to watch? Uh, one movie's coming to my head right now. The um. Demolition Man, that's what I want to think. Was anyone old enough to go watch Demolition Man before we had fancy new technology uh, when they had video conference phones? Where basically you answered your phone and it would just be a webcam on their television, uh, which we basically have today, right? Anyone out there? Was anyone old enough to watch that when it came out the theaters? When VR was sci fi? Uh oh. You weren't the only one to uh, have the issue with the streaming. I had to restart OBS. Oh my god, Rad. I'm so sorry, man. Alright, let me go send out my Reddit. Let me get this going. Get my link going. Let me get this written. Gotta write it up. And uh, today we're going to be finishing up our save system, hopefully. And uh, there, I've, when we implemented our lighting system, there was a few things I broke along the way, like our background scrollers don't have normal maps um, because they're not using the new render system. I'm going to fix that. And then a lot of our debug draw stuff, like wireframes and bounding boxes, uh, all that I believe is broken as well, and I want to make sure I fix it. So that's, uh, that's kind of our agenda for today. It's going to be a good day. And uh, not to um, spoil any surprises for everyone out there, though. Tomorrow, 
tomorrow I might. It depends on what I get from uh, our artist, but uh, Saturday for sure we're going to be doing um, zombie uh, dating sim work on Saturday. Uh, I want to actually get started working on our dialogue editor in our zombie dating sim. I think um, I think that's uh, it's kind of important, and there's some work that needs to be done. And I'm kind of waiting on my artist for some Enderkin stuff. Even though we I got some stuff from her today, I looked over it, and everything looks good. Um, she's going to be sending me some animated spine stuff tomorrow, I believe. So tomorrow we might be working on some uh, Rebel animation integration. Or we might be doing um, some zombie love stuff. I don't know yet. For Saturday, though, for sure, we're going to be doing a special uh, zombie dating sim uh, session. Uh, even though it's uh, it's a week early. It happens sometimes, guys. No, no uh, Nothing wrong with that, right? As long as we keep ourselves busy working on a project. Because sometimes our art pipeline blocks us a little bit. But that's okay. Uh, and then Sunday, for sure, I think... We'll have all the animation stuff ready for the Rebels, and we'll be back uh, integrating all that. Uh, okay, so my Reddit post has been made. What's up, Decode Dev? Decode Dev, how you doing, man? Taco Bell was the one the franchise for, right, guy? I know, right? Taco Bell, dude. I, I, I could have predicted that. Uh, it was with Stallone, Flaz. Yes, it was with Stallone. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was president. Taco Bell won the franchise wars. Yes. What's up, Anderson? So as you guys probably just heard, I don't know if you... Did you guys just hear that? My audio cut out for a second? Uh, it's because of how I'm sending my audio to uh, my streaming PC. I'm not happy with it now. I need to get a, a, a proper mixer so I can make it nice and solid. Welcome back, Aiden. You don't, oh my god, Anderson, did you watch Death to Smoochie off of my recommendation? Uh, DevOp, I'm, that's good, man. I'm happy to hear that. Nerd, say no pearl ever for that pearl guy who stole my name. Oh god, nerd. Oh my nerdy nerds. Nix, what's up, Nix? How's it going, man? What's up, dude? And I have a very low bar when it comes to movies. Oh, Flaz, no, Demolition Man is a horrible movie. Demolition Man is one of the worst. Uh oh, sorry guys, let me turn that off. Demolition Man is one of the worst movies. Give me a moment. Turn this off. Gotta find it. What's up? It's the sky. You know it. You like it, Nix? You like this band? You like uh, Every Theory? So Every Theory is uh, a buddy of mine's band. Uh, I mean, I, I guess I know a lot of bands and musicians, but... Uh, uh, this band is actually uh, a very close friend of mine's band, uh, a fellow bass player. I've known him since we were in high school, so it's been a very long time. I'm a huge fan of their band. I love uh, their music, uh, so I like to play it on my stream, along with all the other music I play. But Every Theory, awesome band. You guys should Google them. Google the hell out of them. Anderson, uh, dude, Death to Smoochie got one of my favorite um, Edward Norton movies, dude. 
Death of the Smoochie, Edward Norton movie. Oh my god, that movie's amazing. It's so underrated. The critics hated that movie. It was in theaters for like two days. So good though. Get out of here, Ar Azernus. <laughs> Demolition Man is not amazing. Go <laughs> watching. I don't know how to use the three shells. <laughs> you got that right. You got that right. Okay, everybody. If anyone uh, was here yesterday, you probably remember that we started working on our... Um, we started working on this system. Give me a second here. We started working on this system yesterday before I had to stop streaming because I was having so many problems with my streaming PC. But here we are. We're going to get back to working on this. We're actually almost finished uh, with the engine stuff we need. I'm going to lower my music just a little bit, guys. Let's try that. It was a little loud. A little loud for me. Oh my god, AJ. Relax, AJ. It's not it's not that bad, man. It'll be okay. Is beat him and eat him? Oh my god, AJ. So put a Doctor Who game. Oh my god. <laughs> What's up, Brick Tech? How you doing, man? How you doing? Okay, let's uh let's see. Where did we leave off yesterday, guys? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Where in the world's Carmen San Diego? I don't know, you tell me. We were working on uh, serializing our save object, right? And I think I have this finished now, because now we have a save object. We get all the static properties. Then we dump out all the dynamic properties, um, which uh, are, are not sorry, the, all the dynamic properties. We dump out all of the child save objects. The station planet is a save object. Uh, within a save object, we can have sets. And we could have uh, objects, but this one happens to be a set, which is cool. Uh, and then we have maps and sim set and blah, blah, blah. We need to go see if we can reload this now. Because that's the important part. We can save it. I think I have everything finished for the save aspect. But I don't know for sure. So we're going to go do some more testing. And then we gotta we have to write all the code to load it. Brick tech, my chat is behind. What do you mean by chat is behind? Me breathing loudly makes me think I'm pressing shift. Am I breathing loudly, guys? Am I breathing too loud? Is it, uh, do I just have myself a couple of trolls in chat? Ah, delicious. Do we just have a couple of trolls in chat? All right, so here's our read. Let's go do this now. Let's do it. Okay, we have on custom read. Uh, I'm just going to drop a breakpoint in here because I want to see what comes back in our node list so we can start figuring out uh, how we can read this data. <laughs> Thanks for the follow out there, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. ND Cube, you rock, dude.
You got it reading the mode now? Toys, this is good, dude. This is good stuff. I'm sorry, Nix. What was your question? I apologize. What computer am I using? What computer am I using? Uh, let's, let's go over my stats. Let's do that. Uh, I always forget my stats. I go, I go look them up myself because that's how much I remember my computer hardware, guys, because it's uh, super important to me to know this. But I'm going to look it up just for you. Uh, I have an i7-2600. Uh, I think it's a Gen 4. I think it's a Gen 4 i7. I've had it for a long while now. 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, I have a uh, R9-290X uh, G19 keyboard. I have a Chroma Adler. Oh, I'm sorry, Death Adder Chroma mouse. I love this mouse, by the way. Uh, and most importantly, most importantly, I have a one terabyte Samsung 850 Pro solid state drive. That's something. I'm most proud of that one little item right there. Only because it's only because of how ridiculously expensive it is and how stupid I am that I own it. Uh, AJ, I'm, I'm old. Turn down the power. <laughs> CPUs are good for a long time, Anderson. Absolutely. So here's our nodes. Oh my god, guys. Thank you so much. The follows are uh, bright today. The follows are bright coming on in. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Okay, uh, what no? All right, so what nodes do we got here, guys? What freaky nodes in our M nodes collection? We have one node. Okay, it's one node, uh, and it's objects, and it has a child, which is a station planet. But objects could have several. We could have objects. We can have because uh, if we look at station planet. Let's dig in here. It has two children, uh, which is sets and objects. Okay, I'm just want to just making sure. Get my mind wrapped around how Torque 2D does these uh, custom Tamil objects, uh, so that we can implement them properly. So we can find a node by a name. Excellent. Uh, okay, <clears throat> then we can get all of its children, and then we can iterate through them. Okay. Okay. And then we can get the field, we can get the node name. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we can get the fields. I'm just making sure we got this right. All right. I think I know how to get this uh, up and running. Let's go find out. You know it, Nix. It's all about that power I'm packing. Oh, is that what's going on, Brick? Maybe. It might it might be happening, Brick. Or you could just continue to try and troll me. <laughs> uh DSM, unfortunately during the week, this is when I can stream. On the weekends, though. You know what my stream schedule is on the weekends, DSM. That's definitely EU time on uh, weekends. Definitely EU time on the weekends. Let's get rid of you. I don't have too many things open over here. Too many things. Uh, do we want to call... We don't want to do that. Because we do all our own super duper custom reading ourselves. What's up, Wooter Brick? Welcome back, man. Welcome back to the stream, Wooters. Wooters. 
Uh, so we could have all three of these, right? We can have all three of these, so we need to go look for all three of these. Just want to kind of get some stuff down here. Custom nodes, find a node. Uh, we can give it a name. When scene object does this, I just want to see what are they using. Uh, they do an insert. Okay, just making sure. Do we care? Will it already be inserted? It's already going to be inserted, so I don't care. They're doing a little unoptimized. Well, not that unoptimized, but it's not needed. Okay, so I want to go look up objects. Objects node. And we're going to start with this, right? If P objects node, if we get an objects node. Uh, we need to get all the children. And we don't really just need to get children, because I'm going to use a for auto node within p objects node dot get children because this is an iterator that it returns so it's uh, doubly check that toys awesome now toys remember remember if you're building yourself uh, an irc bot in twitch if you're building an irc bot in twitch uh Keep in mind that Twitch has flood control. Twitch has a lot of flood control. If your bot spams a channel very quickly in a short amount of time, you will get yourself an 8-hour IP ban in Twitch. Are all games programmed in an object or in language? No, Wooderbrick, not at all. Games are developed in all types of languages. What's up, Dragon? How you been, man? Uh, that doesn't matter, Toys. It doesn't matter if he doesn't speak until spoken to, Toys. If you bring that bot into, like, my channel, and uh, ten people speak to it, and it responds, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to get yourself an IP ban very quickly. And it's not about waiting up to three seconds before sending. If uh, if ten people ask it something and it responds to all ten people, even if it waits three seconds for each response, all ten are going to be queued up to respond at the exact same three second delay. And then you're going to flood um, Twitch and you're going to get banned. What you want to implement is flood control on your output send to IRC, right? You want to queue up all your messages that you're going to be sending out to IRC and put flood control in that queue. So you only send out so many messages a second or a minute. What evil magic is this auto doing? There is no, there is nothing evil about auto, Polygens. There's not one evil thing about auto. Not one evil thing. And don't name it Screamer. <laughs> Boom, K-Line. <laughs> ah, Screamer, I know. Uh, your response there tells me that you're an uber nerd uh, because you know what K-lines are in IRC. Just for that alone, Screamer, I love you. It sends up to one per... Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay, Toys. Uh, may, uh, I was just misunderstanding this. As long as you have a send queue and you're uh, putting throttle control on it, you're awesome. You got it. You got it down, Toys. You're doing, you're doing it right. You got it. You got it. All right, so uh, for objects, we can go get each node of the object, which is good. Uh, the node has, the node has, what are we looking for? We have a name. We have a name. Get. Get no name. Okay, good. If 
from the node name, we need to, what are we doing? This is gonna be a new dynamic, that's right, okay. So we need a save object. And we do have to new this up because this has to get baked into um, the uh, script engine the script side and it needs to be a new object. We can't use uh, any type of uh, memory management for ourselves here. Hey, what's up, Jenny? So you've been having problems with the self-writing script for the table in table tennis and you have any idea what might be causing it. Uh, hmm, I'm not, a, I'm not a Unity expert, so I don't think I'll be able to help you on that one. One second, guys. Someone has a meeting request for me for tomorrow. I just want to make sure that it's okay. Uh, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow, God, guys. Tomorrow's already Friday. I like it. It's Friday, Tara. It's Friday for you. It's not Friday for me yet. All right, so uh, whenever we have a new child, as we're going through here of our objects, we need to create a new object. Um, or do I need to create a new object? I don't think I want to create a new object this way. Because... Or, well, I can. Nah. Yeah, we kind of have to do it the same way as our save, right? We need a recursive load uh, system. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of just want to use... Node. Because if it's a proxy object... Get node. Get proxy right node. Hmm. How are we going to read this without just going to re and rewriting the whole deserialization system? Because we kind of got around this in... We kind of got around this in uh, sim sets by just adding that as a node. Uh, it's fine, but this could be a, a deep list. This could be a deep list. And we're not grabbing, like, random seed generator does not come into our field. I guess I could make sure it gets added here. Because we're not reading these right now. I'm thinking. Let's just get it going here and uh, we will fix the quirks as they pop up. So just like we have a save... We are going to have to do a recursive, not void. Uh, this is going to return a save object. Load. And this is going to take in all of the same data, or do I just need the root node? Oops. Do we need everything or just the root node? This jetty this week flew, didn't it? Why is that scary, jetty? Why is it scary, man? This week did fly by, guys. I don't know why that's scary, though. Embrace it, jetty. Embrace it. Um... Okay, so... I don't need to do this now. Instead, what we're going to just do is... Well, I do need to 
to this, and I don't want to do this, because uh, I want this to all happen. This is just going to return null for our root object. That's fine. Uh, so we'll say load. Yeah, load null and custom nodes. We are going to need it all, just like we do up here. And I'm going to set this up as a little recursive McJigger function, McJigger thingy. Okay. Because that means graduation is a week closer and I still have all my... Oh, I'm sorry, Jenny. You'll get it there, man. You will get it there. I have faith in you, Jenster. I got faith. Oh, this comes in as const, uh, which is fine. We'll pass that back around. We're not going to be making modifications to that anyway. Uh, and I just still don't even know. I kind of need it just for the root. I'm trying to think in my head if there's a better way I can go about this, but this is fine for now. Okay, so this code needs to move up into load. Um... And then we'll say Tamil custom node. Um, P objects node is null pointer. If root node, if a root node is passed in, we want to say P objects node is from the root node. Find node of objects otherwise we need to grab it from the custom nodes Tamil custom node what is it I'm liking here p objects node get rid of you okay back this command does not like me. Uh-oh. What's up, Valve? How you been, Valve? How you been, Valvey boy? Uh, a, a, a type con... Oh, this has to be constant, too, right? Everything coming out of here is constant, because we're not supposed to be modifying any of this. It's for read-only. Nothing wrong with read-only. I hope you... I, I'm curious. Are you guys hearing uh, some of my audio pops? Are you hearing some of those audio pops, or is it just my feedback into my headphones? I'm curious if you're hearing it, or if it's just me hearing it. Uh, Androloid, Andro, hold on, and, and rule Lloyd. hello, 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 how you doing out there? Oh my god, thank you so much for the follow. Uh, Brick Tech, oh, Brick Tech, Brick Tech, poor Brick Tech. Andrew Lloyd, got you, Andrew Lloyd, dude, what's up? Perhaps I could use a more stylish font where, uh, Nyx, you mean in my editor here? Or uh, on the right-hand side of my screen. What do you mean by more stylish font? You mean up here? Up here? <laughs> Figure I'd poke in. Thanks for poking in, buddy. F thanks for poking in. Audio's fine to you guys. There's the toys. Toy bot. I like it. I like it, toys. In the editor. What do you mean a more stylish font, Nix? No, 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 no. Nix. This is an amazing font for de developing code against. This is the Consolas font. This font is awesome for software development. You don't want stylish, flashy fonts for writing, for writing code. You need a nice, monospaced font. You need, uh, well, you don't necessarily need a model space font, but you want yourself a nice, clean font where every character of the ASCII uh, code is nice and easy to see. Uh, let's see here. Andrew, <laughs> Andrew Lloyd, working on a client project yourself. Quite like the concept of the other sites. Figure I would pick up some a lot. Hey man, Andrew, come on, hang out. Let me know if there's any questions you got, buddy. 
Yakbot's not here right now, Brick. He'll be here later, I'm pretty sure. I need Comic Sans up in here, Jetty? I know. On Sublime? Nice, nice, Nix. No, I'm a huge fan of uh, the Consolist font. This is my font, dude. This is my Jammy Jam font. Uh, all right, so we have a root node recursively. Uh, as we go through all of our objects here, this is where things get fun, right? So now I want to say child object is equal to load of our node. And we'll pass some custom nodes along the way because we need to. And then once we get this back, we need to bind this as a dynamic field of us. So, which is this dot add field, I think. Yep, add field. Field name is name. We have that. Uh, field type. There's a couple overloads. Let me check these overloads. Hmm, I need to set the field type. The type of field. See, consoles, di console, dynamic types. So I'm going to go take a look at this. I'm hoping there's just an object type I can use. I'm sure there is. If your value is assigned, that's an add variable. The type <clears throat> enum. I'm trying to find this type enum. Let me find you. I do put on a dark theme if it's available. That's good, Valve. At least you're doing that much, right? Well, where is this enum, this magical system is telling me about? I don't know if I want to use add field. Maybe that's not what I'm looking for here. Hold on. There is add field... Assign, clear, find... Oh, oh, data field. I think there's like a set data field. Set prefix, set data field. Uh, better. This is what I'm looking for. Um, so slot name is name. Uh, null pointer. It's not an array. And then for value, it's child object dot get ID string. Okay, so this should bind this up. Uh, we're going to load everything up. We're, I don't know if we're doing this correctly yet because I'm not loading fields. I'm just loading up objects. But that's the first thing we want to do. Let's get a couple. Let's get fields in here. Let's get the fields node. Fields node and fields node and fields. And we'll just copy this code. We've gone through um, all the objects. Let's go through P fields node. Go through all the field objects. We just need to get name auto val is node get node value. Uh, what is it? Get node text field. No, Val. Real love, real love. Oh no, we gotta go through all the fields. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. this is right, this is right. I don't wanna do it like this. Let me uh, double check how we do it up here. We just add this as a field of uh, custom fields. What is custom fields? Okay, so there's no nodes being added. All right. So I don't want to call it get children. There is no children. I want to say get fields. Which is the same thing. We'll just call this fields now. Oops, let's call it field. Get field name. Auto field auto name 
I'm gonna auto val field get field value. Okay. Uh, and then we just want to set a data field, a name, and value. This is real love. Am I using Visual Studio for a specific purses? Uh, we're using Visual Studio to develop C++ software. No, sorry, let me catch up on chat, guys. I apologize. I apologize. I was uh, stuck in my own little world out there. I like Source Code Pro or Meslo fonts. Schmock em. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, what program? This is Visual Studio 2013. Visual Studio 2013. Welcome to the chat, guys. Move rock never said. I'm sorry, Brick. Is it a good idea to learn coding for fun and passing time? Yes, Stickner. Uh, I only say that because I don't think it's a bad idea to ever learn any new skill, man. Is it a good idea to learn something? Yes, it's a good idea to learn something. Dealex Andre, what's up, deal? In C, uh, so in C Sharp, is there a way to have a task factory that runs outside of the default task factory? What do you mean, toys? What are you trying to do specifically, man? What are you trying to do, toys? What's up, Pablo? How's the game coming? Pretty good, man. So far, we're having a good day. Uh, so far, we are having a good day. I'm going to keep knocking on wood, by the way. I'm going to keep knocking on wood that uh, my capture card is going to be fine. going to be fine. I think I fixed that problem from yesterday. But essentially, what are we developing here? Nix, we're working on video games. We do video game development here on this stream. Right now, we're working on our primary game, which is Endercan Station. A roguelike sci-fi 2D platformer. Sorry, I haven't showed the game yet, Nix. Uh, we've been heavily working on trying to finish up our save. The, the engine source for our save system so we can go back into the scripts and use it. You need to separate a task factory to handle written events from StreamWriter. Toys, you can write a task factory however you want. You can use your own... Uh, uh, task factory system. You can overload it. You can have 32 different task factories all doing different things. Yes. What's the CC extension? It's just a C++ file. Where can we get a t-shirt screamer? They haven't been made yet, man. I'm going to think about it. Instead of t-shirts, I'm going to do beanies. I'm going to do beanies. Okay, so we have objects. We should be setting no uh, fields now. Uh, we might have enough. We don't have the sets in there yet. Oh, this is supposed to return, right? What does this need to return? Does this need to actually... Hold on, does this need to return anything? Uh, it does, actually, because load, right? We don't pass the object that it's going to add. We just say, hey, on self, on self... Load. Um, all right, so that's fine. So it doesn't need. So we say save object. New object. Equals new save object. And then we just call new object load. That way we can use uh, this will work. All this will still work. That's cool. Mm, this will return the same object, uh, which is fine. 
because we're just going to have it return this. And we can chain this if we want. If we ever need to chain it, that's okay. <laughs> yes, Screamer, yes. What's the difference between CPP, CXX, CC, and CP? Uh, there is no difference. Why not only... Oh, yeah. Goalie, there is no difference. Thank God, Azernus. Thank God. Hope those copies are okay. What? Uh, what? What are you talking about, Azernus? Hope these cop. What copies? You're by being anywhere on stage, uh, Curset. What stage are we talking about? Yeah. What stage? Maybe I'll ship you one right now. <laughs> Uh, let's test this, guys. Let's test this. On, uh, load, right? Let's see how far we get before it crashes. When you play with your band? Oh, Curse Nice. I need to do the same thing. I need to get some beanies made up of it. Yeah, I need some in-bass beanies. Absolutely, I need to do that. Okay, so we're gonna go find, we have an objects node, we also have no fields node, by the way, because we need to get more than, we have to get all fields in there, we're just getting dynamic fields, it's not enough. Uh, we're gonna go fix that bug, don't worry. But this is good, so we get the station planet. Let's go load the station planet. So from the root node of the station planet, there's no object, uh, there are fields though, okay, perfect. Which is the starting map index of zero. This is good. So far, this looks exactly like it should. Okay, let's see if we can go fix this problem with objects. Because we go through this weird... We do this weird thing. We go through the field dictionary... And then we iterate static fields as well, don't we? I think I want to take static fields out of here. I just want to get all dynamic fields. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much. I slap in the base valve. <laughs> Jeez, you guys. Yagi, thank you so much for following. I appreciate that, man. I like Curse that you you don't play uh, a guitar. You play a guitar and bass pedals. Just the guitar and bass pedals. Are you um, down on your hands and knees and you're just like hitting some bass pedals? That could be kind of interesting. Your fields in the for loop. Uh, I never know the size of your struct, so I point it out when I see. Azernus, I don't even know what you're talking about. You're freaking me out, Azernus. Uh, let me reload this and see if we get some new data. Hmm. So this is good that we have here. Why aren't we getting... Let's debug it. Let's debug it, guys. Let's debug our save. I want to see why we're not getting all our fields. Right on, Valve. Right on, Valve. Go in our save. Okay, so get field dictionary, right? Unfortunately, it's implemented as a hash table. It's kind of a pain in the ass. I, want, I think I need to get fields and static fields. Let's see, fields list. There's nine fields. Um, call, uh, where's my watch window? Let's take a look here. Let's see what these are. Okay, sim, uh, base begins, can save, internal, internal. Okay, I don't care about any of these, by the way. None of these are fields I want to save. Cool. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Found an entry, station planet. 
Uh, random game seed. Okay, so we found two to send. Oh, perfect. Station planet. Added that in. Don't care about the children. I don't ever care about that children! So here is... Alright, random game seed is being added in custom... P custom fields. P custom fields is a fields node. That should be getting written out. Go take a look again. Oh. Helps if we don't break it. Helps if we don't break it, everybody. Why only 32 bit? All other programs run fine on 64 bit. Uh, Brick, why do you need 64 bit? I wonder if, um, so we have fields, We're, I'm missing a field though, I'm missing the ran a random seed, that should be getting written out, unless there is no, no, because we have it up here. And we get the station planet. Whoa, excuse me. The station planet has this. I'm not getting my, um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So we have custom sets, custom objects, and custom fields. Our save game has two custom, two dynamic fields. This one is getting set uh, because we executed through here. I have a feeling that. Uh, if we don't have a child node, maybe uh, maybe that's our problem here. Um, that can't be our problem, right? Let's try this again. Oops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try it again, guys. Okay, so this is our root object. This is our root object. Hop back down into here. Random game seed. Random game seed. Where have you been all my life? So here's fields. Here's our fields. And it has a list of fields. It has no children, though. Has a list. Let's follow it. So we have three nodes. Yeah, let's take. Let's do some watches here. We got three nodes. Wherever we're at, uh, uh, custom nodes. Custom nodes wrote three nodes. Maybe, um, no, it should add all three of them. Let's take a look. Boop. All right, we have sets, objects, and fields, right? 
sets objects fields and sets has no children and no fields. I wonder if there's a check. We're gonna go find out. Uh, I don't care about sets. I don't care about objects. Let me get back to where I was. Okay, there we go. Uh oh. Objects. Man, I really dug in deep here, huh? Alright, fields. Let's take a step in. We get children. See if it's a proxy object. Ah! 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 Uh, it doesn't care about fields. It doesn't care about fields. Well, what the frick? Doesn't care about fields. Why did I choose C++? Uh, because I love C++. Line 74. Let me go back. Oh, sorry. Uh, line 64. Line 64. Uh, is this what you're talking about? No, oh, sorry. Line 74. Why am I getting the note here? Uh, just because we are. Just because we are. Because we're cool like that. We're not doing anything with the node, but uh, the compiler will optimize this way for us, Azurness. Just in case we need it in the future. Just in case we have it, right? But the compiler will optimize it away. It's okay. It's all right. Ah! Let's get this right. There we go. Who says only the elite have six for a computer next? <laughs> I have 128 bit computer, Anderson. Get on my level. Get on my level. Okay, so we're adding fields, but apparently we're adding fields for no good reason. Because um we don't we don't write out custom No, it's here. Let's go to definition. The how do we write? How does this stuff write? Compile the node states. If it's uh if we found a proxy object, sure. I'm a little confused. Oh, this is, um... Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. I'm gonna rerun this. Yeah, there's something I wanted to see. Sorry, we're going to rerun this. We'll figure this out. We'll get this. Hello. Don't get in my mind, Azernus. Don't get in here, man. What's up, Lemmy John? How you doing, man? Let's do this right. I lost my save. I lost it. Okay, okay. 
Three nodes, right? We get back three special nodes. And we get stuck in, um... We get stuck in here. I wonder if I just need to say on our custom node, set the right node. Because I want to just take all the fields as well. As properties. How does this happen in compile objects? So it creates a new write object, okay. We set the sim object if it needs to be. And all right, so this one I want to see, how do we compile dynamic fields? Perfect. Because we can make this happen. Ah, we just have a fields, and we push back. Okay, this is what I care about. So right here, we're going to say, eh, okay, keep that code in here. Uh, for auto fields in... Fields, auto field. What context are we in? In on the custom node. Get the fields. Thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So then we're gonna go add. Uh, okay, so Tamil node, Tamil right node is a writer node. Is a new writer node. Oops, take this out here. Let me say writer node M fields. Right, this is this code right here. And this is field. We just want to pair. Okay, field dot. Get field name. Get field value. And then uh, p custom node dot set writer node. Of writer node. Okay, so then we'll just say if custom node get fields dot size greater than zero. Give me a second, guys. I'll look at chat in a moment here. Execute that. Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see what this does now. Let's see what it does now. Alright, what's going on, chat guys? Sorry, I've been missing everything. I've been missing everything. Welcome back, Wooter. Oh my god, thank you so much for following. Thank you, Cash Mish. Thank you, Cash Mish. Cash Miss. Thanks for following, dude. I appreciate that. Why you read your mind to it just like vibrate and do nothing? Oh, I don't know, Jetty. That's not good. 
Jetty, you know what happens when you upgrade engines. When you upgrade a new software, major software releases, maybe not a good idea. Let's go test this, guys. Let's see if we're able to ride out fields now. Because then we're going to have to read in fields. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Okay, I don't care about the save part anymore, because I got this. All right, so we're creating a new rider node. We're going to go through each field, get ourselves a little pair. With an empty node name. Okay, good. So right node, a right node does not match an existing. Oh, it does, though. It does. It does. Uh-oh. Must not be no. Uh-oh. Node must, oh, must be no. Oh, right, of course. Okay, we're good there. No crashies. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we just got. Uh, it doesn't look like we got anything. I gotta go see how these things are used now. Uh, so we have a station planet still. Uh, but we're still not getting um, our node. Okay. Okay. Apparently we have to dig deeper, guys. Alright, Nix. Thanks for uh, hanging out, my friend. Oh, I'll be streaming then, Nix. I'm here for many, many hours every, every day. With frozen chocolate? Nice, Brick. That sounds delicious. Have you not looked previously for all the features that weighs this one issue? Alright, Jenny. Okay, okay, okay. It'll be sunshine and rainbows? I like it. A little bump in the road. Oh. Oh, you just said that. All right, let's see how the hell, how does this supposed to work? Because ultimately, ultimately we do write out station planets because it has children, right? So we keep going all the way through here <clears throat> until we don't have children anymore or until one of these is a proxy object. I just want to write out my field. But this fields works, by the way. How does this fields work? How does that write? Hmm. We're gonna find out. I think it's because it's a proxy object. Or maybe this is just for compilation. This isn't where we... Uh, let's see that, actually. Let's load out of here. Let's get all the way back up here. Compile object, right? This is just compiling the object. This is the post, right? All right, so now we have this node, uh, which has fields, and it has a bunch of children and blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, you compile children. Here's our sim object that we're trying to write. That's the right. Yeah, see, we're still just trying to compile this into a generic uh, intermediate object. So here's our root. Right now we have two fields. Random game and then okay. Let's see what the XML writer does with this data. So we get a save object, create a new element, 
This is what I want to talk about when we get into uh, attributes. A whole bunch of attributes. Compile our attributes. Random seed. Station planet. Sure, those are whatever. And then we have a bunch of... Oh, this doesn't have any children. Right, okay. Link it up, okay. So that was the right event, huh? I must have missed something. Let's try that again. I must have missed something. Because I don't see where we wrote our uh, sub-objects. What's up, Bass? How many employees does Mbass have? We have zero employees. We just have two founders. How many lines does this project have? Rough estimate. That's a really rough estimate. America, America. Uh, because we have to consider that we've made a lot of engine modifications. So if I just talk about how much uh, script code we've written, that's not our whole game, right? We have to kind of include all the engine stuff we've done. But now that intermixes with the torque engine, uh, so it's really hard to give you an estimate there. The torque engine alone is 300,000 lines. Are you asking me, Boom, how many words I just invented today? A lot of words. All right, let's take a look at this again, right? How does this not have children? How does the right node not have children. Um, okay, so we have attributes. Yeah, we went over this. this. These are easy attributes. That's these attributes here, right? It should then have a child for save object that objects. So there's our save object. Oh, excuse me. Oh, we have custom nodes. No, sorry, we don't have children. We have custom nodes. How do custom nodes get written? Aha! Compile custom nodes. Aha! What calls you? Why didn't I see this? Compile element. Oh, it's the last stupid thing. I'm like, I don't know where it's happening. It's happening freaking right there. All right, custom nodes, right? Get our nodes. We're gonna go through each custom node. First custom node up set. Save objects.set. Cool. Create a new object. Uh, get the node children. We go through each child and we'll compile the child node. Finish the node is set to ignore if empty. Ah, so that's why. So it's uh, delete it because it doesn't have any children. Again, it comes back to that stupid children thing. Here's objects, right? This is going to be okay. I think I skipped over what I was looking for. I did. Ah, you. Oh, you. Let's do that again. Toys, you started working on a C++ port to make it cross-platform. Nice, Toys, nice. Whoa, excuse me, guys. Excuse me. How to be a billionaire. 
Make a game solo, name yourself Notch, sell it for five euros, profit. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> What's up, Nick Slack? How you, how you been, dude? How you been? Alright. Did I just skip over this again? I skipped over this again, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going nuts. I'm going crazy over here. I need some caffeine or something, maybe. Maybe I need some caffeine. Yeah. You know what I'm happy for right now? I'm gonna knock on wood again. I'm gonna knock on wood. Let me double check. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, we're not there yet. We're an hour and a half into the stream. Still no uh, capture card issues. I love it. Is C++ hard? I don't think it's hard. Thank you, Screamer. Thank you. Can I have a Godzilla instead, Screamer, though? Can I, have, can I please just have a Godzilla? Alright, so we're in. I hope I did not just skip over this. I just skipped over this again, didn't I? Oh, no. This is one child. Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Where the hell are we? We're in the station planet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Get rid of you. Come back here. You come back here. What are we doing? There's our route. Okay. What note is this now? This is the one I want to jump into. Whew. Has no children. Has no children. Uh, so it's not going to compile any custom nodes, of course. But it, we're not. Uh, we're not compiling the um, attributes. So we need to extend this. Okay. That's what we're missing. Is there a Godzilla energy drink? I would so rock that. Screamer, it's a half a monster, half Hawaiian punch. Uh, what is the longest time you've ever had to compile during my entire career? Valve, the current project I work on at my day job, Valve, it takes us four hours uh, to compile it from clean. That's the longest, and it's still today. Uh, I'm actually working on a project to uh, kind of uh, help us improve that a bit. Okay, so we're just going through children, right? We fix it on one end. Yeah, we want to go through the fields. Let's just do that. Uh, four. Field. And then I can go remove some code I put somewhere that we actually don't need. Uh, P custom node, get fields, because this is the real place we need to do this. Alright, so how do we add a field? I think um, from element here. We want to do an attribute, set attribute, and pass in field.getName, and field.getFieldValue. I think that's it. I think that's all we have to do. Uh, right here, we need to do a check. Get ignore empty, uh, and either no children, and p extended property element. I don't know what p extended property element is. Is that what I'm supposed to be adding this on? I guess we should do that the right way. Okay. Bull has fields is false. I guess we start ourselves. Has fields is true. 
and has no fields, right? Okay, um, let me pull up Smart Hub. I want to undo Smart Gate. I want to undo a little change we made. Must be a very, what, what valve? No, oh, very big, yes, yes, valve. It's ginormous. A Godzilla? Yeah, that's right, Flaz. You heard it! Have you tried one yet, Flaz? Flaz, have you tried a Godzilla yet? Good night, Wooter. No, don't worry about it. Don't be sorry, Wooter. Hang out whatever you want, man. Weekend's coming up. You'll be able to hang out longer. Don't worry. In front of my door on the hallway, uh, I'm trying... To watch <laughs> Valve. <laughs> Valve, if you if you want, Valve, if you need me, I can go talk to them for you. I can straighten it all out. Why why have you not, Flaz? Why I don't even understand how this is possible. How's it going, Zephyr? How you doing, buddy? What's a Godzilla valve wear? Half a monster, half Hawaiian punch. Half a monster, half Hawaiian punch. Go try it. All right, where did I add uh, our code? If this is the only place, I can just remove this. Yep. So we're going to discard. Yes, yes, discard, please do. Yep, oh yes, reload. All right, let's go take a little peeky peek here, right? Let's see if we're setting attributes now from uh, our custom attributes. It's so weird that it allows us to set attributes, but nowhere does it save them because uh, we love our Torque developers sometimes. Let's take a look at field. That's our random seed. Okay, good. Uh, for, I guess there's only one field. We'll uh, double check that. But uh, the more important part here is we did not delete it. We linked it. That's what I like to see. All right, let's take this off. Let's go see what we got now, guys. Stop debugging. Okay, we have objects and we have fields. There is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we don't have station planet is within objects, right? Perfect. So now we have a save object here, which has a set of fields. I know we're duplicating some code here, but there's it's hard to get around this problem. And this has sets, sets. Why is this called fields though? It should be called station planet dot fields, but okay. Uh, as long as we can load this back up. So now, now that we're storing all this data correctly, Let's go uh, test the load and see if uh, we got this kind of working. Let's see where we're at. What's up, Tate Ward? You gotta think about it, Flash. You gotta think about this stuff. It'd be up all night. I'm too old for that, Flash. I would say I'm too old for that too, but unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, caffeine has like no effect on me. That's party night over here. Yeah, that's cool, Valve. You ignore, you forgive him, buddy. Used to be a big vodka. I hate. I don't like vodka Red Bull though, Valve. Was there a set ending tag? Ooh, I don't know. That's a good question. I think this looks valid. Fields are okay. Fields. I think it's okay, buddy. Sets, sets, maps. Yeah, we're all right. Looks like valid XML. Looks like valid XML. This fix we made right here, we also have to make sure it's in our binary format because uh, we're going to be switching over to the binary format uh, in a little bit. I just want to get the uh, process in place. All right, let's go take a look at load. 
Yeah, I don't. Uh, I mean, I like my booze, but I don't need. I don't like mixers in my alcohol. I I'm okay with just. Um, I'm okay with uh, just drinking some scotch. It's kind of delicious. I don't need something to corrupt my booze. How's it going, scoundrel? How you doing, man? All right. So where are we at here? We're at the root node, are we? What are we trying to load? It's good. We have nothing to load. I'm trying to figure out what object we are trying to load here. Um, custom properties. Oh, interesting. Let's see what this was. Uh, we get the type name. It was a save object. Has no ref ID. Do we have a reference? No. So just collapse you. Zero. We don't care about the. Well, this is good for debugging. Right, row 10, column 25. Uh, we're gonna, so we're going to go create a new object. We're going to create a new save object. Perfect. Get the callbacks. It's going to parse the attributes. Okay. Doesn't have an object name. That's fine. It doesn't have any children. Why is that? Why doesn't it think it have any children when it does? Maybe because it's custom. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong area. Again. Call custom reads. And I think that's what I'm in, right? Yeah. Trying to watch, but my phone isn't up to scratch. I'm sorry, scoundrel. You love Captain Morgan and Captain Oregon plus Coke. You love it, Valve. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Valve. Calm it down. Calm it down. I'm trying, Brick. You, I don't know who that is, Valve. No. Mike Ra Oh, oh. He's a big fan of huge ass. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know, Jetty. I've never tried doing that. So we have no custom, where's custom properties come from? Maybe read is supposed to do that. Oh, oh, hmm, I'm curious. I wonder if, no, that doesn't make any sense. Makes no sense. Let's take a look again here. Alright, we're gonna look at this again. I wanna see it from this point. Can't look at it from here yet. In fact, that's not a good idea. Um, yeah. This is slightly difficult. Okay, so we're in parse element. Oh, it's parse custom nodes, right? Ah, there we go. We're in parse element, calling parse custom. What did we pass in here? Custom nodes has one custom node. Called objects. Is that correct? Mm, it's not really correct. There's more. But it looks like... Uh, so where does this get parsed? I think I need to parse in non-parent stuff as well. Hello from chat B, Flaz. Yes. SRF Gaming. Some program needs to figure out how to merge. What are you talking about? I am merged. Oh, 
Uh oh, hold on. My chat's uh my chat's demerged. Let me fix it. Sorry guys. My uh brow it's uh, I should fix this one day. Alright, chat should be uh, merging again. If you flash, if you say something over there on chat B side, if you say something on chat B side, it should go through now. Sorry, my uh my I had a security error going on in my script. It should be fine now. So where do these custom notes come from? So we got a node. We're going to try and say, oh, is this a dynamic children? It's not, so don't care about that. We get any container children, we don't. Get the next sibling, okay. Is this a standard child element? Okay. Parse the child. And then we continue, right? We're not going through this, because uh, that's not what we are. Otherwise, it goes through parse custom. I just don't know where custom property is getting created. I keep missing it. Looks like it's just passed in. I guess it's created in parse custom element, then. So parse custom element. Dot objects. Okay. Okay, so that's where custom note comes in. Well, this is weird, and then we parse the custom node. Um, so let me step into here. Oh, we're going all the way deep. Oh, I think we're okay, actually. Because this has no custom notes. Okay, okay. I think I'm understanding now. I think I'm understanding now. Maybe. Let's see what we get. No custom nodes. Let's just see all the way through here. None. None. Alright, there we go. What is this node? objects and it has one child which is the station planet right okay so one one has objects where's the rest of our nodes though why aren't we getting fields why are we getting fields so we have objects no fields pretty new save object for it Let's load that. This has some children, right? And it doesn't have object, but it has fields. Oh, I'm not checking for sets. I forgot we gotta do sets still. We'll get to there. Okay. What do we have? This is a starting map index. Go back to here. Uh, we're looking at our station planet has fields, right? Starting map index. Okay. 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 And that's it. That's it. Um we're missing some stuff. We're missing some stuff. So we just have to we have to sit through this. 
We just gotta see, there's a whole bunch of uh, Tamil files that pre that load before we get to our save, or our load, I should say, but we just gotta sit through it. Unfortunately, it's fine. Let's we'll put a call on here, on a watch. On the file name. Because I don't care about that Tamil file. Hugh, oh god, Dragon, Shh. I almost said it. Dragon, I was so close to saying it, dude. <laughs> oh my god, what's up, Pete Furious? N Y A Bartholomew, New York, N Y A Bartholomew, dude. What's going on, man? What's going on? <laughs> okay, uh, uh, let's get through these module loads and then we should get into our save. Couple more, couple more. And this should be our save, right? Nope. Gotta get through all our entities. Couple of these. Interface, yep. A lot of Tamil files below. There it is. Woo! We could step through this one step at a time now. Parse element on the root element. It's a save object, right? Save object, cool. Okay, get the buffer for debug. We're gonna go create the base object. Check if we have any callbacks. I don't care about pre-read. Let's parse some attributes. Okay, set prefix to data field. Might have to use that. Okay. Let's go register it anonymously. Uh, Alright, so let's get the first element. The first child. The first child here um, should be save.objects and then save.fields. Here's our problem. I think I need to wrap this. I think I need to wrap this so we can get uh, all the children. Ooh, oh my God. Thank you for following. Thank you so much. Man, yawning. I need some caffeine, I think. I have to go grab uh, some caffeine. Yep, containing. Yep, these should be null. That's good. So, all right. So this is where we say, okay, go parse custom. This is going to get parsed as a custom object. Save object dot. Save object dot objects. Right. We have too many root uh, nodes up here that we don't know how to handle. But let's just go see. Let's go double check. Dot objects. Get the first child. We have a custom node now. Okay. So parse custom node. We don't have attributes on this. No element text. Uh -oh. 
Yeah, so we drive it all, we're driving all the way down, right, to uh, parse everything. Because uh, we're going to parse the station within objects. But it should not be doing... Well, let's see what it creates. Let's see what we get here. Maps, okay. Yeah, this is drilling in. Drill it all the way down! Later, Valve. Later, Valby. Alright, so this is a proxy object now, right? Is this a proxy object? So this is uh, not a station plan. We're in maps. We're in the sim set. We're basically loading these right now, right? And we should have... Each one of these should have... Oh! A, um, a child object. Why isn't this not giving us back what we're looking for? This is saying there's no custom nodes. Whoa, because we're calling here. Is this supposed to return? I don't know where custom property, how these are being created before we call our parse. I just, I don't understand how that's working. Maybe we need to do a, a Tamil post read instead of a custom read. I stepping over that I keep stepping over that I want to step into it let's step into it that time there we go there we go okay so it's a save object Location buffer, row 20, okay. Create the type. Parse the attributes, we have none. No object name, registers it. Okay, so it's gonna get the first child here. There is a child node. There is absolutely a child node. Let's see if we can get the value or the name. It's an element type. Save object field. So here is our um, here it is, right? That's what we're looking for. Not equal to null. It's not a child. Not a container. Okay. Why are we moving to the next sibling? Which is going to be null, by the way. And, okay. What? What? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that's just next. Never mind. Okay, we're okay still. So parse this is custom. The problem is, 
the custom properties are not set. What? <laughs> I don't. I. I have no idea where it finds how it builds custom properties. What the heck? This is a weird system, everybody. Maybe this is just gonna go parse it. Alright, hold on, let's see. Maybe it says, alright, this is just the parsing aspect. Maybe. So, fields, okay, cool. Oh. It's because it has no. Ch this, we have to go update this, right? It has no children. We're not, um. Yeah. This, this is what we need to fix. Okay. Phew. Let's go do that. I just want to see how this works. We need to add a child node needs to become a child we've got to create a child node oh this runs through the attributes right this will add attributes uh but only if we get into this parse node So from the root, okay. This is, uh, I guess, kind of what I was saying earlier. I don't know why. I really don't know why, but let's just go modify it. I'm going to go make it easy peasy for us. Okay, so when we save... Create a root node. Custom nodes. Add a node. Oh, we can actually add a uh, ignore um, something on for not ignore. Oh, I did. okay. I didn't know that was a flag. We fast knows. I just saw that. Uh, just call it data. I'm just gonna call it data, and that's gonna be our new root node, right? So when we come into here. It's gonna build uh, objects and fields off of data, which is cool. Uh, but when we call back into load, I don't want to use node. This isn't save, it's in save, sorry. Where are you at, save? We call save, there it is. We create a node, right? Auto data node is equal to child node dot add node called data. Yeah. And we'll just pass that in. Let's see what that gets us, guys. Let's see what that gets us. Alright, we're already in read, uh, but I don't care about those reads. I'm expecting a crap. Okay, so that's fine. Stop debugging. So, uh, as crazy as this looks, I think this is just what we have to do. Uh-oh. Is this right? That's objects. Yeah, I can't collapse fields. Because we need a save object. We need to wrap this as a save object data. And within there, we'll have objects and fields. And then within objects, it'll be another save object. This one's called Station Planet. Which has data. And within that data, there could be sets, fields, and objects. This one just happens to have one, which is just a map, which is a sim set. And you get another save object, right? Save object data, and there's fields. Whew, this is crazy, but this might work. Let's see what load looks like now. 
What's up, Zephyr? How you doing, man? How you doing, Zeph? Okay, so now when we get custom nodes, hey, look at this, guys. We have a custom node being passed in. We need to go update a load to handle this, by the way, because this is going to fail. Right, this will fail. This is okay. Uh, we will pass in. We will always assume there's a root node. We don't have to assume that, but if load right here, yep. Auto uh, root node is equal to custom nodes dot find node of data. Can we pass this in as root. Let's fix this, okay. Okay. Let me go change this. Should be const as well. Alright, so now in load, we'll pass in the root node. We'll get what we need here. Uh, as we call load again off of this node, auto data node. Equal to node.find node. Find node data. It's data node to load off of, and we should be okay now. Let's go find out. I'm glad to hear that, Zephyr. I'm glad to hear that, man. I'm glad. Yeah. So there's our root node. Let's see, let's see if this is gonna work. Oh, belly. Oh, now that we got our fields. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We're going to name it a value, right? Get a random seed. We get our value. We're going to go set that. Oh, my God. Life is beautiful. All right. So let's put a break point here. See whatever this happens now. There we go, right? So now we have some object nodes. And the data node is data for the station planet. We go create it. We just loaded it. Cool. It has one custom node, which is data, which is what we found. If we look at its children, though, it's going to have two. Okay, guys. And it does crash. I think we did it. I think we did it. We need to implement maps still. We need to implement our sets, not maps, but our sets. Uh, I just want to check. I want to check. I want to echo out save game dot random game seed, right? Let's get that and say O is equal to save game dot station planet. Let's see if we get this object back and then we can echo O dot um. something. I can't remember what we saved. Starting map index and maps. And this is where we're going to get our sim set. So we're going to get back into that in a moment here. Okay. Save system. O dot. After we use all this, by the way, we need to delete everything. Let's make sure this is cleared. Well, it's not. We don't. It's not to that. Um, we want to run this routine at the end here because. We don't have a good way of doing this. But basically, I want to register. Save game. Just have to do this as we load everything up. To make sure things get unloaded. Okay. See what we got, everybody. 
And you're back. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back, guys. Okay, let's see, guys. Here is the test. Woo, we get back a random seed. Woo, we're going to see if we get back the right date in a second. Uh, more importantly, are we getting an object? Uh, we do not. We do not. Station planet did not get set. Uh, let's go find out why. So obviously this is going to fail. Mm, um, yeah, okay. Set prefix data field. I think that's what we're supposed to be using. And double check something in here. Yeah, we need to get a prefix on it. Okay, let's test here and here. Let's see what's up. No one's back, Brick? Okay. So there's a random seed, right? Negative one, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, this is just going to call directly. Okay, this looks good. Random seed. Station planets. Wait, why are we setting the... F oh, it's up here. Like, what happened? Station planet. What's the value? Oh! Okay. Um, step out of here. We can't add this because this child object, we gotta re debug this. Take you off. Uh, two most ugly mistakes seen while they're available, but unfortunately has stopped working. Uh oh. Has stopped working for Windows. Uh oh. Neither of those are good. Uh, child object, that's why, guys. Sorry. I forgot to uh, new object dot register. I gotta register this in the script system so that it has an ID. Is that the only place we knew up an object? I believe so, right? Yeah. Oops. I think we're okay now, though. I'm gonna check it right here. We got a random seed. Oh, we got a station object back, and that station object, oh my god. OMG. Uh, of course, we need to look at something. Are we saving and getting the right data? Because that's kind of important. Excellent. Let's get maps in there, guys, or sets, which is, we'll load our maps. Uh, I gotta figure out how to do that, by the way. <laughs> gotta figure out how to do that. So we're saving, we have sets. We gotta get sets in here. In the load.
find it. Fix it up at the top. Let's go fix it. A wild nerd appeared. What's up, nerd fellow? How you doing, man? Oh my god, cornflower. Where have you been all my life, cornflower? Do you know how much I miss you, cornflower? Do you know how much? One second, guys. I miss you, Cornflower. You know I miss you, dude. Why would you say that? Why would you say I don't miss you? Alright, so if we have any sets, if we have any sets, we gotta go through each one. And node is, um, I wonder if we'll just have the proxy object. Oh my god, this might just work. Delete if not type. Ooh, let me see where this is called. Oh, this might just do my dirty business. Delete if not type. It's used for joints all over the place. Alright, so we're looking for a sim set. Mm, we'll say true. Call it the set, right? Uh, and then we just want to do a set prefix data field. I don't know if this is gonna. I think it'll register it with a node get name get node name and set dot get id string. Let's go find out. Go find out, dude. I'm so excited for this. Uh oh. Uh oh. It was a maps. It was the maps. Oh, it has a child. Um. It has the. Oh, 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 oh. Let me see. I forgot how I did this. Uh, save. Uh, save everything out. We add a node based off the slot name, and then we add a node. Okay, easy, to, easy to get. We say get children. Always the first. There we go. Always guaranteed to work. They had to block out all memories to me. Whoa, nee 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 Just does it what? Oh my god, cornflower. OMG. OMG BT Morale, how's it going, man? How's it going? Hey oh we got our objects. Got our object, we got it's registered. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so happy right now. Okay, so we can do our last little check here, just as a little check. Um, we can look at save game from the station planet, right? Dot maps. X 
echo out maps.getCount out of curiosity, and then we'll also then echo maps.get object. Let's make sure the full round of stuff works here. Oh, the first element dot uh, what do we load? Just a random seed right now. Okay. Let's go see what I messed up. Memories of some Caddyshack? Nice. Oop. Oopsie. Oopsie. Oh, that's fine. We got back some maps. Uh, let's see if we got a count. We have four map objects. And the first seed is good stuff, dudes. Well, there we go. Well, there we go. We just updated Torque 2D to uh, implement a save object for us, which will then serialize out not just all the properties of the object, but if any of those properties are save objects themselves, It'll keep recursing in uh, on both uh, save object children and sim sets, which are important for us, right? Because sometimes we need to store array style objects. Um, I'm kind of happy about that. The only thing I'm not happy about is uh, the cleanup after that is not uh, very easy. I think I might write a... Um, I think that's what we're going to do. We're, first, on save object, we're going to add a... Uh, a handy little cleanup. Yep. That way we can get rid of this stupid system. We're going to get rid of this stupid system. Uh, and we'll do that. Yep. Dabbleman, computers are strange to all of us. Let's go play the game real quick, guys. When's the last time we actually got to play the game? I want to go do that because I want to check release mode. Hold on. Let's get into release mode. Let's build release mode and let's play the game real quick. What's Tamil? Sorry, I must have missed if you'd answer that already. Oh, Nix, Tamil is just the custom, uh, it's one of the custom file formats of Torque 2D. It's a way for it to serialize and deserialize uh, Torque objects to disk. Torque application markup language. There you go, Wicked. Thank you. If you read this, you'll be like, no sleep tonight. I'm coming for you. Get it. Whoa! Pastor Gaming. Whoa, you're coming for me. Front door is unlocked, dude. Come on in. I took advice and added scripting to your game and now support body. Oh my god, Cornflower. What what uh, scripting language did you use? I hope it's Arnold C. Please tell me it was Arnold C. By the way, has anybody played the latest alpha, our latest alpha, version 0.1.5? Has anybody out there played it yet? I'm curious what you think of the combat tweaks, if you have. Hold on, guys. I think I can stop knocking on wood. We are two and a half hours into the stream, and our my capture card did not crash, so I, I think I fixed... The crash problem from yesterday. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm glad I fixed that crash. You guys want to know why my capture card uh, was crashing every two hours yesterday on my new dedicated streaming PC? Anyone curious? You use Lua, Cornflower? I like Lua. Let's do it, guys. What do you think? Am I going to win or am I going to die? I'm probably going to die in like three seconds. What's up, Trav? By the way, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm supposed to be getting some preliminary, um, uh, uh, some preliminary animation art for our new, for our rebel replacement so we can get rid of Goblins. So goblins are finally going away, guys. Goblins have been a staple placeholder art in our game for a very long time. Alright, we're going to take this guy slow. Oh, I didn't know there was another one there! Alright, 
hearts. Okay, we can take the high ground now. We gotta be careful of these. Alright, hold on. Let me take a pause here. Let me take a little pause here and talk to you guys. Oh, uh, why was my capture card crash yesterday on your dedicated stream PC? Thank you for asking, Flaz. Dabbleman, uh, that's what happens when I chat some pod. Hello, people in the other chat. <laughs> Dabbleman, wait till there's a hundred people in here and nobody talking. So what, Dabble, if you've never been on a, uh, development stream before, or, or maybe more specifically my development stream, I get a lot of people that come in and just like to hang out and relax, and they, a lot of them are working on their own projects out there while they're listening to my voice. I don't know what it is, but people like the sound of my voice when they're programming. Don't ask me. I hate my voice. Um, so yeah. So yeah. Uh, well, I, we could do that SRF gaming. We could make it uh, different colors. So my capture card yesterday. So I have a new dedicated streaming PC, guys. If you didn't know, I don't run OBS on my main desktop anywhere. No OBS over here in the house. I have my a dedicated streaming PC that I'm streaming from. Uh, but yesterday, every two hours, my capture card would freeze up, and I'd have to shut down OBS. Unplug the capture card, replug it in, restart OBS to get it to work. It was a horrible day, right? Uh, my unfortunately, my capture card is super finicky. I had my camera and my mic. Um, well, uh, uh, first of all, the motherboard in my streaming PC apparently all of the USB ports funnel through the same um, host controller. For whatever reason, there's only one host controller, one chipset controller on there. Uh, normally that's fine for most devices, but my capture card was not having any of that. Uh, for whatever reason, when my camera or my mic was on the same um, bus, USB bus, as my capture card, because it's a USB 3 capture card, uh, it, would, it would cause random crashes for whatever reason. So what I just did is I uh, picked up a PCI Express USB card, a USB 3 card and my capture card is now running on that dedicated card right so it's on its own dedicated bus nothing else is on there and it's all nice and happy it seems and then everything else goes to the standard uh, motherboard USB you like the sound of my background music mix I like them too man nice Tara Sean see I don't understand everybody out there everyone loves hanging out and lurking. I love every lurker. All of you lurkers out there, you keep on lurking. Let's keep playing. Ah, I'm gonna die! No! I just took like a third of my hit points. That was not cool. That was a really bad scenario for me. Ooh, this is a bug. We're not supposed to be um, killing stuff off screen. Or, hold on, let me check something. Yeah. Whoa! Uh, we might not be doing any damage. I'll have to look at that. We shouldn't be playing a sound either uh, off screen like that. Oh, I jumped into that one. I'm actually doing okay until I got to this little spot right freaking here. Wait for it! Oh. Alright, I'm like two hits from death now. Back to lurking, Azernus. Nice, Bass. Nice. Crash. Crash. Oh. Oh, no! No, I knew I was going to take damage from that. Oh, crap. Here, here's my death. Here, here's my death right here. Here's my death. Oh, <laughs> oh. 
I killed 12 enemies, though. By the way, this is the new reduced difficulty, guys. Uh, I, I cut the um, game difficulty probably almost in half. Oh my god, Ellen Dubs, what's up, buddy? Not much, not much. Not much. Alright, let me go commit all of this stuff. Here's our new save system. Almost finished, almost finished. One more little thingy. We need to go right. A little thingy McThingy. Being a Contra whore, I really want to see you get a spread gun. Oh, I know, right, Screamer? All right, Tara, you have no idea, man. You got no clue how bad I, I do suck. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Back to our save. Public objects. Public void. We're going to call, uh, we're going to create a little purge function. We're going to create a purge function. Or, we will need a purge function. What I'm just going to do is put this in our destructor. Maybe. Let's go find out. Don't want to implement it here. For no, uh, save object. Save object. You just fixed your logger. Good, good toys. Good, good, good. We're going to take ourselves a little break here soon, guys, which means we're going to be doing some Steam game giveaways in a few minutes. Let me just finish up my cleanup section, and then we'll do some giveaways, because I, uh, I need some caffeine. I want some caffeine. So I'm going to get me some of that. We're going to take a break. We'll give out some games, and uh, we'll, we'll jump over to our next aspect of what we're looking to do. Uh, so, we want to run through all of our dynamic fields. Yeah. Do I want, yeah, I want dynamic fields, not the field list. Uh, we don't need to grab that. It's a lot of work we're doing our destructor here. I'm not super happy about it this way, but uh, we'll be okay. I mean, just do four auto field in our field list. Hmm, I don't know if I want to get the data like that. Let's see, that's just our field list, right? Names from a slot name. Okay, so then we can go from this. Get field. Get a data field. Okay, good. Get the slot name. Uh, we don't care about arrays. Okay. Uh, then we're going to try and cast it to two different types. Auto uh, save object is equal to sim find object save object uh, value if save object if save object unregister object. Uh, I think that's what I want to call. 
So let me go check. Nope, not unregister, destroy. Delete. Delete object should call deleted this, right? Yep, okay, good. Else. Auto sim object is equal to sim fine object. Sim set. The val, if sim object, this one's a little trickier. For uh, um, auto index object of the sim object, get. Can we just do that? No, right? The children? I'm trying to remember what it's called. Ah, what do we call it? Let's just go look. Drawing a blank right now. You know you said you wanted to sell beanies with your logo on it? Well, here's a really... This is where the real money is? Okay, hold on, Jenny. Let me check this out. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. We need this, Jenny. We need this. Don't tell me this is... You have this at home right now. Do not tell me that you have this at home. <laughs> Endangered station? Nice, Nix. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Airspace? How you doing, buddy? How you doing? All right, so sim set has an iterator. Oh, so it just has a beginning and an end. So we we should just be able to do from object a suitable begin function, and none was found. What does begin return? Hmm, it has a. Has one. Had to be dereferenced. Uh, okay. For every object, we should only expect save objects to be in here, but we'll double check. We'll say save object. No, um. Not the X object. What is this? Make sure we can cast it over to a save object. Tell you the truth, I don't care. We're gonna delete all of them. Uh, ooh, we can't. I gotta do this a little differently. Uh, while sim object counts size greater than zero. Auto IDX object is equal to sim object of zero. Let's take a look at this again real quick. Fine object, we can push, reorder. Us uh, back, okay. Don't care about you. Uh we just want to get all first. That's that's good, that works. Okay. What's up, deal? You just some photoshopping. Wish I had that at home. I wish too, buddy. I wish too. What's up, Val? Val City. How you doing, dude? How you doing? You're from Ohio, Nix. I'm from California, my friend. California. Add them up, dude. Not much, man. Not much. We're just cleaning up our save game code right now. 
We just had to write a little uh, serialization system for saved games. And, uh, no, and we're doing that. And now we got to do a little rebuild. Oh, let me cancel this. We're in release mode. It's going to take too long. Switch on back to debug. You're from Ohio too? Nice, Panda. Nice. Pinkest Panda, you and Nix. You guys should be hanging out. You should start the local Ohio chapter for the Wilkie fan club. <laughs> what do you think? Yay, nay? Good idea, bad idea? <laughs> um, so while we're adding wall size, this will keep deleting everything. We need to delete the object itself. Sim object dot delete. Okay, I want to put a breakpoint, see if this ever gets called. Where's this from? We're already deleting something here. Good stuff. So we got a data field, right? Random game. We try and cast it, we get null. Okay, it's going here and going here. Oh, we found an object. Station planet. Ready, you? Uh, we have four objects. Got four objects. Two objects. Perfect, guys. So far, this is good. Keeping it clean. Okay, don't need that. Oh, what slot is this? Station planets. Maps. There we go. Ah, uh, so now I could... I can get rid of this whole crappy system. I guess here this is being called everywhere. I was not happy with this. At all. Okay, we use this more often. Oh, I think I'll keep this. Uh, that's fine, because that just gets us a new save object. That's cool. We can decouple that. Thanks for the follow out there. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, so we don't need to do this anymore. Instead, we just have to delete our root object. Just have to delete our root object. Make sure that gets deleted there as well. M shot play. Thank you so much, man. Just take a little. Oh, that's release mode. Hold on. Let's make sure this is still getting called. Uh, I sent you a man. Okay, doctor. I will definitely check it, man. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Mm, kind of in an infinite loop here, maybe. No? I think I'm okay. I'm in a bit of an infinite loop. 
Well, I don't know if it's an infinite loop, but... Calling this a lot. These are all valid objects. Where's this coming from? From the planet, right? Okay. Yeah. What's our delete call? Load game state. Oh, no, that's fine. We load, we delete it twice. That's right, because we're testing uh, the save and delete at the same time. Okay. Woo! Is this going to be one of those save on exit features that some roguelike games have, Niffle? Uh, yes, kind of. We will not just save on exit, though. We will save the game throughout, Niffle. We'll save the game throughout. If you die, if you die, we're definitely going to save the game at that point. It's all about them emoticons, M-Shot. I like it, dude. Trying to get that emoticon in there, M-Shot flat. I think there's a better way to do that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, so, Niffle, yeah, we're going to be... We will save your game often throughout the gameplay, right? We'll have uh, different different things going on that we'll save. Uh, it, but, uh, and obviously, if you die, if you die and you play again... The save file is going to update because you're dead. Because you're dead, right? There's no going back. No going back. Let me merge this up before I forget. It's Wendy in, in Victorville, the toys. Uh, well, toys, that's kind of what you get for living in, uh, the high desert. Imagine saying this statement 70 years ago. If you die, we will save your game state. Nix, right? Right? Reply to a message here real quick, guys. Uh, Alright, it's break mode, guys. I need something to drink. I really need something to drink. And you know what happens when we take breaks around here, right? Everybody should know what happens when we take breaks around here. I hope everyone knows what happens when we take breaks around here. By now, it's raffle time! <sighs> so I just started up the raffle, guys. If you're out there, if you're in one of my chats, I don't care where you are in the world, if you can hear my voice, if you're out there lurking... Come back from your lurk status just for a minute. Say one thing in chat. The bot just wants to make sure you're active. Say one thing and then go right back to lurking. Don't miss out. Don't miss out, guys. Say something in chat if you want to get into our Steam game raffle. I will show you uh, all of our links. I'll show you all of our links. Uh, I can't accept this because I have too many friends. I got to clean up my list. I have, like, far too many steam friends i need to clean up that list but uh, i'm just getting everything set up guys so just say something in chat get into the raffle i'm gonna get all of our games up and running i'll send you guys the links you can go look at my gift library directly if you want uh you can also pick a game from up here those are available so let me get all this formatted so everybody has a shot it's rep time all right, guys, if anyone out there wants to go look at my gift library so you can know what games are available if you win, uh, just click those little handy links I put in chat right now. No lurking allowed, Travis. No lurking allowed, Travis. Trav, Trav. What's up, Wicked? I'm good, man. 
Sean, you can go right back to lurking. What's up, Nick? Unless someone figures out an auto backup, a save file, five use DLC pack. Uh, five, yeah. <laughs> Nemo, that's funny. More than likely, though, Nemo, uh, we're not going to do local saves. We will use uh, Steam Cloud. Is uh, our plans for uh, save games, right? We still have to do Steam integration. Guys, we still have to do uh, achievements in our game. We still have to do Steam, which, which basically means Steam integration, right? There's a whole bunch of Steam stuff that still needs to be done in the game. We're so far from doing that, though. What do we need to do to win? You just did it, Amp. You just did it. You just gotta say one thing in chat. If your name's on this list, you have an equal chance to win. How am I getting live coding chat messages, Sean? Uh, I'm special. I'm special. And no, I'm not. I, I just, uh, I, it's just, it's just some JavaScript, Sean. I'm a developer, right? Think this, think like a developer. What can you win, Amp? What can you win? Click that link and you can pick a game from my gift library. Network storage demo, I know, right? Thanks for the follows out there, guys. Oh my god, a few days ago we hit 4,500 followers on Twitch, guys. Uh, that was super awesome. Super duper awesome. Thank you everyone for making that milestone happen. Uh, we're going to be shooting the moon for 5,000 at some point. So uh, we'll see who's around when that milestone kicks. And by the way, now, if you are uh, a fan of Live Coding TV, if you like yourself some Live Coding TV, Live Coding TV now shows you how many followers you have. New feature they've added. Uh, what are we over? Let me see what my follower count is on Live Coding. I have 221 followers on Live Coding TV. That is, I think that's pretty damn awesome, uh, considering uh, where Live Coding TV is in the marketplace. Uh, they had a huge surge on some news websites lately, so I'm sure a lot of people came from there. But that uh, the what the live coding system has been slowly and slowly uh, gaining momentum. I think it's awesome for them. Think like a developer, Windows. Use that at work, dude. Just use it. <laughs> after, after, amp. If you win, if you win, man, I will give you instructions. Don't you worry, buddy. Don't you worry. How do you do Steam integration? Jetty, it's an API, right? Uh, Steam has a C++ uh, library and API that you integrate your game with. Developers don't have problems. They got solutions. <laughs> Mr. Infamous, we're not even close to being done. We are just so far away. Uh, I, I will show you next page. Remember, you can go click a link directly and see the games right on your own browser. Attracted to watching you develop this game night after night. Right, RCNet? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I pulled you in to my little trap. I'm like a Venus fly trap, and you're my fly, RCNet. You're my itty bitty little fly. Welcome, welcome to the trap. How you been, RCNet, man? How you doing out there, buddy? When you're live, double points if uh, it were more reliable about it than Twitch. Windows, uh, just getting an email would be more reliable than Twitch, right? I think all week, I think for most of this week, most of my Twitch viewers have not been getting emails when I've gone live. Um, but absolutely, Windows, right? I think I'm going to be talking with uh, Mr. M uh, MJD over there uh, about some of that notification stuff. So I would expect in the very short very short time frame to start seeing some type of improved notifications coming out of live coding tv is there any way oh sorry is there any way you could even test steam integration without having your game on steam i believe so jetty uh summith i've been using visual assist i went back and i actually checked uh i've been using visual assist since 2004 uh, so I've been using Visual Sys for 11 years. I'm a huge fan of that tool. Uh, not that I'm saying everyone needs to go out there and get it and use it. I'm just, For myself, it's a huge, huge pro uh, productivity uh, improvement for my daily uh, development needs. So I'm a, I'm, I love the tool. I've been using it 11 years, so obviously, right? But on top of that, I get the tool pretty cheap because I've had it so long. I get uh, my yearly upgrade, or is it every two years? 
one year or two years, uh, it's a pretty cheap upgrade for me. Mystical, mystical. Mystical, you're watching it on uh, YouTube, wherever you're watching. How do you like it so far, Mystical? Uh, watching it after the fact. What do you think? Yeah, Windows, right? Twitch has just been in the in the garbage all week, man. My favorite line of code, amps. That's uh, that's not uh, that's really not my favorite line of code. That's the default favorite line of code from Live Coding TV. I was not. I, I could, at the time I wasn't thinking of anything clever enough to write in that field. Define while if. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I might. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just cracking up, and I might put that as my favorite line of code, because goddamn, that's awesome. <laughs> Wicked, you had Visual Sys a few years ago? Yeah, man, I love that tool. That tool's awesome. Is the audio sync out of sync, guys? Student Discount Summit? Well, there you go, man. There you go. You've never heard... I've never heard of such a thing? What are you talking about, Amp? What's so funny about uh, Define While If? Is it is the seat in and out? It's just... That's just streaming sometimes, guys. No problem, Mystical. No problem. You just watch that video, man. Hopefully some of it sinks in. Uh, somebody uh, suggested I do a, my next video on uh, architecture design patterns, and I might do that. So, AMP, uh, basically what that, what define while if, uh, it's basically going to redefine, right? What do you think it's going to do? Hold on. Let me, let me ask you, what do you think that statement would do? I was, Nick. I was. I'm still going to, Nick. I get caught up in chat, man. This is why we... This is our break time, buddy. It's break time! Seems fine now. All right, Panda. Thanks. And there's a poss... There's a very possibility that audio and video... Are slightly out of sync. My uh, my mic and my camera are two separate sources, uh, and they record it two different uh, ways, right? So I have to make sure they get synced up. Uh, they don't just automatically sync up themselves. I'm guessing you don't do the same kind of coding during your J job. RCNet, uh, my day job, I do more architectural work than um, pure coding. That statement optimizes your program, Nipple, right? <laughs> Amps, you got it. It would make whiles and if. So, Amp, uh, any play, if you did define while if, any place you use a while loop is going to get turned into just an if uh, condition, right? So instead of while true, it's going to do if true, execute it once, and that's it. You're going to get one execution through your loop. It's an awesome uh, optimization, as Nipple would put it. Because they confuse you a little, maybe. Abstract factories, sure, sure. Uber, sure, sure. Really liking Trello for conceptual and idea balancing since we can't... Oh, there you go, Mystical. Dude, I love it, man. What kind of game you guys making? Retro freeze problem fix. You mean my stream freeze problem? My stream freeze problem?
No problem, man. No problem. You got it, though, by the way. You got it. I didn't have to tell you what uh, that was going to do. You figured it out. So good work. Good work. You're going to slip this in your colleague's code when he's not looking. Nix is so mean. <laughs> That's just mean, guys. All right, guys. I'm going to go grab that drink. Hold on. What's this? Uh-oh. Let me uh, move this over here. Let me uh, go ahead and accept... All right, guys, let me go grab a drink. I'm going to go grab myself a little drinky drink. When I get back, we'll pull a couple names, give away some games, and uh, get back to doing some work. Get back to doing some work, and then we can keep talking, right? Because I love to talk. Don't you worry about that. But let me find what I need here. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. If you're just joining the stream, thank you for the follow out there. Kalu, thank you so much. Uh, if you're just joining the stream... Make sure you say one thing in chat so the bot knows you're active. You'll get into the raffle. You'll see your name up here, and uh, and we'll get going. So uh, bear with me. Right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I'm back. Thank you for waiting patiently. I got myself a little drink. Uh, retro, yes, I did fix the freezing problem. I even explained it on stream. It turned out my capture card was freezing because I had too much stuff going on on the, the same uh, USB 3 uh, host controller. So I just had to go pick up a PCI Express USB 3 controller so I could run my capture card uh, dedicated on that. You're the king here now, Tara? Damn! <laughs> Where's Blade at? Where the heck is Blade at? I don't see Blade uh, over on Live Coding TV. He must be off today. He must be taking a day off. Ah, so delicious. Oh my god, Jack Baby, what's up? Somebody asked why uh, on YouTube, why did I go from day 29 to day 63? Summit, uh, I'm not very vigilant about my main game programming being moved up to YouTube. Uh, a lot of days, I used to play a lot of copyrighted music, so a lot of stuff was silenced. Uh, some of my local copy, some of my local backups got corrupted with it. So I'm not very vigilant about uploading to YouTube my daily stream here because i stream six to eight hours every day it's a lot of video to want to go through watching watching me uh the important stuff i put up there side like uh, our zombie um dating sim uh streams those go up on youtube any of my tutorial stuff goes up on youtube that the important stuff is up there the important stuff definitely goes up there you killed him tara that's me that's true callum that's true Uh, Callum James. Hold on. Callum. Kalima. K 
Kalima. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Kalum. Kalum. I uh, hopefully I got that right. You gotta communicate, Jack baby. You gotta you gotta communicate, man. Uh, what's my YouTube? If you look down below, there should be a link uh, to my YouTube. Niffle, lots of streams record twice, once for Twitch, one for YouTube on high quality and no music. Uh, Niffle, I actually have, well, the, the no music part's a little trickier. Uh, now that I have a dedicated streaming PC, I, I'm going to start having the ability to do some of that. Uh, Nix, I stream uh, from my home office. Well, that is a wall of text stamp, like literally. I have to print a value when it has a certain number of decimal point houses. Houses, uh, five, four point five, five, six, blah, 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 blah. I set a condition to print the print the number when it reaches a certain number of decimal, which is defined by the user. Says I want to calculate until a number is. Yes, calculate until it has a five decimal houses. You keep saying decimal houses. What is a decimal house? Kalu Kalima! Welcome back, Purge. Where you been, Purge? Purge, I've missed you, Purge. I have missed you. And you've been gone. And I'm sad. That's right, Callum. That's right. I said I stream from my home office. I do not work. <laughs> I am drinking. Uh, my sponsor is Coke Zero, guys. <laughs> I'm drinking Coke Zero, dude. Oh my god, it's Mordoff. That's where you've been? You've been on Google Forms. I don't even want to click on that purge. That looks that looks a very like a very scary link. You, you prefer Kali Ma to Kalum? Do you know where when I'm saying Kali Ma? Kali Ma, come on guys, please somebody in chat get on my side here. And tell me where this is from. Don't leave me hanging on the internet like this. You somebody out there knows this reference. Mystical, you guys are doing a Tower Wars game? Ooh, multiplayer tower defense, multiplayer summon the mob. Oh my god. You guys have a great idea already. Making forums for some guys at Google. Nice, nice work. Nice, nice perch. Jetty, I missed, I missed your face, Jetty. I missed your face. Good work, Retro. Good work. Uh, Kalum, you're gonna try a new computing at college. What do I think? I think that's a good idea. If this is your passion, man, if that's your passion, you gotta follow your passions in life, wherever they take you. Your Hotep? Oh my god, Flaz. Alright, guys, should we roll our first winner here? Should we roll our first winner? This Google link is shady as it can get, Tara, isn't it? <laughs> Perch Tech. That is like the shadiest link I've seen on the internet, Perch. <laughs> I will never forget you, Callum. Never. You take a short route for 500. <laughs> Alright, guys. First winner up. Let's do this. We can keep talking, but let's draw a winner. Let's give away some games, yeah? First winner up right now is gonna be a limitation. A limitation. Elimination. Elimination. Are you out there? Please say something in chat next 90 seconds so we can give you a game. Nerd, nerd. Very true. Very true, but you still gotta follow your passions, man. Otherwise, you're gonna be miserable in life. Purge, you, how do you enter the raffle? Purge, you don't, you know how to enter.
Elimination! You're gonna get eliminated! In, uh, 45 short seconds. Hopefully you're still out there. <sighs> Your passion is basketball, but you love computing too. So, well, there you go. See, you got two passions. Follow the one that you can. Give me a second here, guys. Okay. Closing that down. Oh, I'm sorry. We're over time. Elimination. Oh, thank you for the follow-up there as well. But the reroll train has left the station. Next winner is... Oh, I know, I know Retro's out there. Retro, Retro. Please say something, chat next 90 seconds. We'll give you a game. Luxburg. Luxburg. Thank you so much. VR. Thank you so much for following You'll never use a horrible JSON purge. One day you will, buddy. One day you will. Shady Lynx Inc. <laughs> uh, I can't do a purge. I can't do it. Oh, elimination. I'm sorry, buddy. You were, I was in the bathroom. We have a 90 second rule elimination. But since you're back, since you're back, I'll put you back into the pool so you still have a chance. Uh, to win. So that you still have a chance. So welcome back, Elimination Man. I'm sorry you were not here. We actually gave you like 110 seconds. Uh, but you just missed it, dude. I am so sorry. But Retro, we're gonna get a reroll going here. Retro wants the trade to keep on going. So here we go. Here we go. Choo! Choo! Wicked! Wicked, are you out there? Please, chat 90 seconds. Let me hear it. So thirsty. So thirsty. <laughs> oh my god, Purge. Oh my god, guys. How's everyone doing tonight? Happy Thursday, everybody. I know it's probably even Friday for some of you crazy kids out there. <sighs> Anyone have any exciting weekend plans? Does anyone have any exciting weekend plans? I want to know. I'm curious. Oh my god. Wicked, wicked is here. Wicked, wicked, wicked. What game would you like, man? Congratulations. I'm assuming you want a game. Assuming you want a game. All you got to do is tell me which game you want. You can use this link right here to go pick your game. Oh, he already picked a game. Do we have Binding of Isaac? Hold on. Do we have a copy of Binding of Isaac? I didn't even know we did. I'm gonna... I need to double check that. Uh, make... Oh, I do have a copy of Binding of Isaac. Uh, okay, wicked. Absolutely, man. Could you do me a favor? Send me a live coding TV message right now with your email address. And I'll have a Steam email you your game, man. That's how that works. Go do it, go do it. We'll give him a moment, and then we will pick a new winner. We're going to give out another game. Nice, Retro. Watching the channel. I like it. I'll be here. You know I'm going to be here. You're going to work on your bot toys? You're going to be uh, uh, getting drunk, working on your bot. Hopefully you're in chat, hanging out with us. You're playing some basketball Saturday? Kalu, nice, nice. Most of the game development pro nice mystical. I uh, I support it, dude. I'm behind it. We got only one copy left, Jack. 
More not for getting your house repiped this weekend. Uh, I got that done uh, a couple months ago. You came here to watch God intensely code. Instead, I've had fun. I don't intensely code. I don't intensely code. In fact, this stream sees about two lines of code uh, every six days. You got? Is that probably accurate? Is that my average? Um, is that how much work I get done in a day, guys? Maybe like two lines of code. Maybe. Wicked, are you out there? Send me a message. You're gonna finish your app on Saturday. Eleven hours of coding pet. Ooh, next. That's good. To do Cinderella, then it's a Power Show marathon. What are you gonna do in Power Show Windows? Ah, delicious. Has my ar architect role helped in designing this game, RCNet? Uh, has it helped directly? I mean, it's a hard question. You're saying has my do what I do for a living, does it, has it helped me, uh, which by the way is uh, develop software, ultimately that's what I do for a living, has it helped me develop game software? Yes, yes, RC. I mean, the simple answer I guess is yes. Oh, nice, nice windows. Joseph, you are now participating. He's got to say one thing in chat, and you are in the raffle. Let me check my mail again. I think I got a message now. From my good friend, Wicked. He couldn't remember his email. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Wicked this way comes. Alright, I got your email. Let me send this game off to you and we'll pull another winner, guys. Do you want to know what I'm doing this weekend? With you lovely folks, of course. You want to know what we're doing on stream this weekend? Is anyone curious? Alright, my friend, uh, Wicked. Uh, go check your email. Steam's going to be sending you a message. Binding of Isaac is on its way. I had to think about the name for a second. Binding of Isaac's on its way. Go grab it. Go collect it. Have fun. Let me know what's up. No problem, Wicked. I just need any email, guys, by the way. You can send me any email that you can access. Steam will send you your game anywhere. Each line has that. Yep, Mr. America, Mr. America, twenty-five hundred characters. <laughs> Sounds like Ethan <Isom> Pearl. <laughs> oh, what's up? Mine's the best. What's the best, most profit you've got from coding? Uh, I, Calum. Uh, um, most profit I've gotten from coding. I don't do like contract type work. I don't do contract type work. I just work full time. I get paid a salary like everybody else does. Is it more lesson videos? No, Mystical, no. No lesson videos this weekend. If you want to go look at my uh, last week's C-Sharp, advanced C-Sharp lesson video, you can go find it on Live Coding TV. You can go find it on Twitch, and you can go find it on YouTube. I got it everywhere. Am I going to put any Easter eggs in the game? Oh, RCNet, of course there's going to be some Easter eggs, but i got to add those off-stream. I can't let you guys see the Easter eggs. What fun would that be? The problem is, uh, Mystical, there are people that watch me every hour, and they would know what the Easter eggs are. Nerdfall, I think this stream does have the best community. And that's nothing to do with me, man. That's up to you. That's all you guys out there. You, seriously, the best, uh, like, Twitch stream community, even over on Live Coding TV. All the guys over there are awesome, too. Uh, everybody. It's the best community I've seen on uh, any streaming service. I'm just saying. Yes, yes, Calum. Let's hope they don't watch this. They know I do this, Calum. What's up, nerd? Nerd! Nerd! Easter egg leap. 
Uh, Callum, uh, they know I do this. In fact, I send my le lesson type videos that I make, I send those out uh, company wide where I work as well. So that uh, not just you fine folks get to watch that stuff, but um, anyone in my company gets to watch. Whenever we do uh, um, tutorial style videos or lesson style videos. Where'd my music go? That was just an end of a weird song. But so this weekend, I forgot, I, ha I was going to tell you what we're going to be doing on stream this weekend. Uh, so tomorrow's Friday. All right, so here's the plan, guys. Here's my kind of loose plan, by the way, because it's not in stone. Um, one of the days this weekend, we're going to be doing a special uh, zombie dating sim uh, early stream. Uh, normally, we do that every other Saturday. We did it last Saturday. Normally, we would not be doing it this Saturday, uh, but we're going to be squeezing in a zombie dating sim session uh, either tomorrow, Saturday, or Sunday. One of those days will be a zombie dating sim day. I don't know which. Probably Saturday, though, but maybe tomorrow. It depends on my artist is what it's coming down to. So uh, my artist is getting ready. She's uh, started working on all the animations for the Rebels. Um, as soon as I get those, as soon as all that stuff's done, we're going to be taking those and integrating those into the game. Uh, but we're kind of bottlenecked on that part because I want to get that in there. Uh, so we might be taking a day and doing some zombie dating sim love. We might be doing some work on our side game, our, our, uh, little, our little side game, our zombie dating sim. So in the zombie dating sim world, what our next step uh, for that game development is, we ha I have to write some um, designer tools. So I need to write a, a dialogue editor or a dialogue um, tree system for the z zombie, zombie dating sim game so my designers can go off and start uh, going nuts and writing the story for the dating sim. But they can't really do all that until I give them some tools to make that happen because it's a very complex uh, uh, asset system that we got to make for, for all the dialogues, right? Uh, so we're gonna be we're gonna be developing some tools live on stream, and we might be doing that Friday or Saturday. What's that mystical? Am I missing something? Where'd everybody go? Where'd everybody at live coding go? Do the uh, ellipses not get sent, Mystical? Oh, maybe not. No, they do. What are you guys talking about? Nope. What do you mean they can't, Mystical? I see it on my stream right there. That's good to hear, nerd. That's good to hear. <laughs> just making sure, guys. You're just coding away, nerd. Do it. Get sent through the splitter on your stream. Uh, I, which... Oh, I see. If it has quotes. Uh, no, seeker code. What do you... I see everything you guys have typed so far. I see them on the stream. I'm looking at the stream myself. Now stuff happens. Mystical, I think you're just going nuts. I think you're going a little crazy. Uh, I do, Nix. I do prefer Windows over Mac, but that's just a preference. There's no uh, rhyme or reason on why I prefer that. Mac is great, too. Well, let me see, Mystical. Write something in chat that should not go on stream, and we'll see if it happens. I think they're tripping too, Sean. I think they're tripping too. I think it's just Mystical tripping away. I think Mystical's going nuts. Was the third winner. Nix, we haven't even picked our second winner yet. Or did we? How many games did we just send out, guys? 
We just sent one game out. We just sent one game out. Let's go draw the second winner. Let's draw it. Thanks, Snicks. Thanks for reminding me. Here we go, guys. Second winner up is... Muchalicious. Muchalicious. Are you out there? Please say something in chat in the next 90 seconds, and we'll give you a game. Let's see it, Mystical. I'm waiting for you to type with the series of dots. What are you talking about, Mystical? Everything you're typing is on screen. You know there's a delay, right, Mystical? You know there's a delay from when you type and it gets on stream. RC Net, no other coders. Me and a designer for this game and then we uh, hire on contractors for artists. Or for assets. <laughs> Everything you see is on stream. <laughs> Mystical, I, I don't know. You're freaking out. You're freaking me out, Mystical. Oh my god, Mucho Licious. You're out there, buddy. In the nick of time, dude. Congratulations. What game would you like, man? What game would you like? Can you have just cause? Of course you can. Of course you can. Give me one second, and I'm going to email you uh, your game key. Give me a moment, though. Okay, one moment. One moment. Get your email set up here. Let me go get your key. Just cause. Just cause. Just cause. Just cause. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, you know, oh my god, I've, oh, I'm so mucho sorry, mucho lissish. Just Cause is actually taken. It's actually gone. Uh, I need to update this. Uh, I forgot to save um, this file last time we got rid of the key. Let me go do that right now. I'm sorry. Now remember, you don't have to just pick a game from up here. You can pick any of our Steam games down here as well. Um, but I would ask if you could please pick a different game. Uh, because that game is actually gone. I'm sorry, I just forgot to remove it off our list. I'm a horrible person. I'm so sorry, guys. If you begin your message, it will not show up to anybody but yourself. Oh, Uber Dominator, is that just a Twitch problem? I think that's a Twitch, because I, I, I don't see those messages either, Mystical, in my chat client. That's funny. That's funny. I'm trying to freaking troll us, Mystical. Uh, my favorite IDE uh, for C++. My favorite Windows IDE, specifically around C++ and C Sharp, is definitely uh, Visual Studio. Yep, that's why you're crazy, Mystical. <laughs> he used to hide from the streamer. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You guys are nuts. So after we get uh, Mucho Licious a game here, we're going to get back to work. We're going to get ourselves right back to work. We have, um, we have some stuff 
we need to do. So we have our save system. We're going to start integrating into that save system uh, over the next couple of days. It's kind of a lot of work, right? we got to make sure we're saving everything properly. We have some of it going on already. There's still more we need to do, but uh, after I get the game off here, uh, I want to go and fix our uh, OpenGL debug drawing, right? Uh, with the new lighting system, I broke uh, wireframe mode. I broke uh, showing our bounding boxes. All that type of stuff is broken right now. I want to make sure I go back and fix that uh, before tonight's over. And I also need to fix up our background scrollers to make sure it's using uh, the new uh, lighting system as well. Because right now it's not. And then maybe we will also go write a uh, normal map for our scroller. Uh, have I tried Sea Lion? Sea Lion! Uh, I have, I have. It's not bad. I have. Mucho delicious. Are you out there, my friend? Have you had a chance to look at our list? Have you picked yourself a new game? Five Nights at Freddy. O.M. Jesus. All right, dude. Congratulations. This one works a little differently. I need your email, Mujalicious. I need your email. I just sent you a message. If you could go check your uh, Twitch messages, respond back to the one I just sent you with your email. I'll Steam email your game. Now, make sure you check both your inbox and your other box. My message will be in one of those. One second, guys. That message is off. Let me check my messages. There it is. I got your email. Mucho licious. Mucho licious. Let me go send you some five nights at Freddy 3. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get this off. Let's do it. All right, my friend. Email sent. Steam's going to be sending you a message right now. Go get it. Go collect it. Have fun. I'm going to close all this stuff down, guys. End of the raffles for now. End of the raffles for now. We might do some more later before the end of the stream. We'll see how things are going. But let's get back to work, shall we? Shall we get some more work done? Okay. So here is our problem. Let's get myself set up. Just getting myself all set up. Our little problem. Close everything down. Close it all down. In App Core, we're going to start from the very basic of what I want to re implement, and we'll get it all back in there. Um. For instance, let's do wireframe mode. <clears throat> if I say enable wireframe mode and we try and run the game. Well, what do you know? Wireframe mode actually still works. So that's good. Wireframe mode is here. 
Um, we don't have to worry about that. I'm happy for that then. That's good to know. And interesting, we actually see some flashing from our wireframe mode as well, because that's our light system on top of wireframe mode. That's okay. Uh, okay, wireframe mode is fine. What about uh, collision drawing? Maybe this is fixed. I thought I had broken this. <clears throat> okay, collision drawing is not working. Collisions are not working. Let's go see why. You're about to witness some code, Kalum. I'm sorry. Let's all party now, Tara. <laughs> Draw collision shapes. I'm gonna go draw me some collision shapes. Where do we call this? Just one place, right? Okay. And it just comes down to a draw shape call. So this is part of our debug, right? We're just gonna draw a solid circle, draw segment, circle, polygon. All right, so we have to fix up all of these. Well, not really all. Well, we do. Um, and this is because... This is because... How are we going to fix this? Uh, well, this is too difficult. We just need to make sure we're drawing to the correct... Buffer. Yes. So I'm just thinking of how to do that, because, what do we call this? Yeah, we need to do it at a higher level. I'm just getting my head around uh, the problem right now. Getting my head around the problem. Stepping this all the way back up. So we'll do it here. This is in scene render perfect. Okay. Uh, we need to go add a new public function to our batch renderer. Let's go do it. Just void. Uh, let's see. Enable. Diffuse buffer. Bool enabled. It's gonna be super, super easy. Super easy. Void batch render. Enable diffuse buffer. Bool enabled. All right, so we only care if uh, I'm using if we're using the lighting system in this render. If we are, uh, if enabled, whoa. If it's enabled, we want to switch buffer to the M. No, how do we do diffuse? Diffuse cost special. That's what I want to do. <clears throat> so we want to switch to the diffuse buffer. Otherwise, otherwise we'll always just say switch buffer to zero, which is back to the basic. Yes. Yes. All right, let's compile that. We can now use this in debug draw in the scene right up here. In debug, set debug. Where were you? Let's go find you again. Here we go. So scene render overlay, right?
in batch. I'm in the scene, right? Let's see this. Where's our batch renderer at? Oh, I'm in a scene object. Oh, um, that's fine. Uh, are we check? All right, so we're in a scene, so we can go p scene dot m batch. Hit render. <laughs> I got to do another call around this. What's calling scene render overlay? Hold on. If this calls up from the scene, well, we're in a good place. There we go. This is for every layer, huh? Well, that's fine. Where else might this be called? That's the only place. That works. So before we run into all of these, we can optimize this too, right? Well, we want to say in batch render dot enable diffuse. True. And then enable diffuse uh, false. And then um, we want to keep rendering, maybe. Kind of need to force a flush. Or, well, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. If. One other thing I gotta do. My mind. If we're using the lighting system. I wanna force a flush. Uh, but. This is a performance hit. I think we're gonna have to do. Mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Sorry, I've been I haven't been looking at chat. I apologize, guys. You only do F five amp. <laughs> what do I need collision drawing and tracer drawing for? For debugging, uh, collisions and all that stuff. It's debug. This is debug stuff, guys. This is important stuff. Make sure you have this. Uh, I want to change this to return true if we actually draw something. Because uh, I need a flag on this. And we need a flag on the play. Do you have a flag? But by doing this, there's probably like 32 places I have to go and update now. Let's go find out. Alright, not too many places. This is going to be bool. Return false. I have to update a few places, guys. Return false. Return false. Otherwise, return true. Bool. It's a nice little enhancement we're doing here anyway. A little optimization. Give us some more ability. Bool. Return false. Oops, return true, sorry. Boy, thank you for the fallout there, I appreciate that. False. 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 Boy. Boo. Return true. Okay, let's see if uh, I broke anything. Let's just make sure all this compiles, which is a couple things. Uh, Ubi, how can you create an array who contain different classes, types for create new instances in C Sharp? 
at least help me how do I ask in Google what is bool it is a true false it's a boolean uh, you want generic all right so uh, this is in C sharp right how do you create an array which means different classes so you want your array to uh, you want an, uh, uh, an array that can hold different types of classes what are you using this array for All right, so we built. Perfect. We're not done yet, mind you. We're not done yet. Uh, but from here now, from here, we can set, we can create a board. Uh, M uh, uh, debug draw. Drawn is false. We just want to know if we ever render an overlay. Debug drawn was true uh, because if we drew a debug, let's flush. Let's force the flush. Okay, let's see if this works. Let's see if this does what we're looking for, guys. Basically, you have a box game object that did not work how we wanted to we'll go debugging here in a second basically I have a box game object and when you collide with the box I will tr uh, attach you a clash component in the end of unity then list at so the box class generate a random index uh, I'm not necessarily understanding so uh, Ubi uh, you can have two types of containers in .NET you can have a container, you can have a strong typed container versus a generic, basically, right? Or you can use a container uh, bound to object, uh, which all classes instantiate from if they're, uh, if they're reference types. So you can do a list of object and then you can store anything you want in that list. As long as they have a uh, ultimately base class from object somewhere. You won't be able to store uh, integers or floats or structs in that list. But any uh, any class could be stored in there. But this is assuming you're not going to do anything with that object uh, except maintain state, right? Since you're storing it as an object, you don't know what kind of object it really is in this container. Uh, so you can't do anything with the object except delete it or... or I don't even know what you would be doing with this. Um, and why you need a, uh, something that can store all different types of objects. Normally in C-sharp, you would instantiate everything from the same interface, right? All of this stuff would have this uh, shared interface, so you can actually do something with your collection of whatever. Yeah, but Ubi, in JavaScript, you can do a collection of a Power Boots class and a Rocket class. That's horrible JavaScript code, Ubi. How do you when you iter, when you get that collection somewhere down the line in your code and you have to iterate through that collection? How do you know uh, element zero is a power boots class or a rocket class or uh, a, a, a super duper sword class? Bull. Right, Ubi. It doesn't. What it doesn't matter. Uh, what's in that collection? If uh, you at if at development time, if at compile time, you don't know what uh, what that object is for. What's up, James? Where you been, buddy? Instead, what I think you want, Ubi, is you want your Power Boots class and your Rockets class and your Super Duper Swords class to all share the same interface called i item or i uh, item class or whatever you want to call it right and then you can have a collection of i items it's a const array ubi what the are you trying to create some type of factory creator oh nice work toys not worse i remember you talking about it in chat uh on sunday or saturday So can't stay long? No problem, James. No problem. No problem, Ubi. So why didn't this work, guys, right? Let's just see if we're getting our force flush in the first place.
We don't need you anymore. You go away. All right, so we are getting our force flush. Mm, so this is good. Let me see what we do. We're using lighting. Good. Oh, did I, I did I do this wrong? No, no, I. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I don't want to force flush this way. I'm just. I'm about to override. Oh, we didn't because that's good. We've already flushed. Uh, I kind of want to just go see what's in my texture here. Because our diffuse handle, I think, should be okay. Let's debug this a little more. From right up here. Oh my god, what's up, Blade? So, Ubi, you have a factory. How do you create items out of this factory? A factory has some type of input, right? Say, I want to create an item of type X. Right on, Kaloon. Come teach me, buddy. Come teach me. Have been, when's the last time you were here, James? <laughs> College equals high school in the UK. <laughs> So we're going to switch over, get the frame buffer, good, switch, all right, we're going to bind the right buffer, that looks proper, those are debug masks, clear all our bindings. Collision shapes, right? Let's draw our collision shapes. That one had no fixtures, so that's okay. Get the start points, it's not on. Okay, then we're going to force the flush. I'm going to switch back. I'm just making sure this is doing what it should be doing. And then that's the shader flush. That's fine. Let's do this again. I'm going to put a breakpoint somewhere special. Okay, into fixtures. There we go. There's an active body, right? Let's draw a static body. Good. Red, green, okay, we got a color. Oops. Okay, it's an edge shape. Um, no, this should be working. This should be fine. This should be all right. Static, okay. Yeah, return true. Okay. Hmm. Let me turn a few things off here. What could be causing us not to draw 
this data. Um, so what what I think is going on, sorry, uh, I think I need to turn off the lighting system. Um, yeah, we're not, this, this type of drawing is not being supported. It's not, we're not actually drawing anything to the background texture, or are we? Am I thinking about this wrong? We don't use lighting, we just flush. Oh, why do we flush false? Flush false. Mm, yes, yes, that's right. I wonder if I should disable lighting. That's what I'm thinking about doing. It's not gonna do anything at this point though. All right, let's do, uh, let's take a look at something. Here's our frag shader. Is the diffuse color return. Turn off lighting, kind of. Let's just see what we're rendering to uh, that back buffer. So even with lighting turned off, it's it's uh, how we're rendering. It's how we're rendering diva overlay. Um, I'm, I'm met the heck do we call it? That's not the save object. Go away. Closed everything that I cared about down, apparently. <laughs> well, fine. Do I have a breakpoint set still? Nope. undocumented keywords uh, have you heard about it I have they uh, I have I have I you should not really be using them too often okay okay I want to get a breakpoint back in our override draw here because uh, what is working, by the way, we should go see how that's working. Because, uh, yeah, we should, I should see how that is being handled. Okay, we're going to look, but let's keep, keep, keep looking at this, too. Uh, because, uh, what, what am I looking for? I can't even think tonight, guys. I can't think tonight. Wireframe mode. Wireframe mode is working. So I need to go look to see maybe how wireframe mode is getting implemented. Uh, I want to in here. Let's see exactly how a shape is being drawn. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, what's the draw segment to? We just begin lines, right? Spit out some vertices with the color in GLN. This should be this should be fine. One second. I'm looking up a Google search right here. Because I think this should work. <laughs> I 
Hmm, let me see. chat. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. You guys still talking about UK college? How is wireframe mode working? I guess it's set in here, huh? So scene... When we go and render the scene, uh, we set wireframe mode. Okay. And then when we flush the diffuse buffer, we disable texturing. Set polygon mode. Okay. checking what else we do um i think i might need to set some stats up we shouldn't be using this at all if not wireframe right <clears throat> otherwise normally this draws elements so that's how wireframe mode works okay that's cool. Yeah, let's make sure we're in the right state. Maybe we're not getting in the right OpenGL state here when uh, we do this. When I call enable diffuse buffer for enabled um, after we switch to the buffer let me set some states, or dis deset some states, right? So get normal in here. We want to disable the vertex and chord array. Disable all that. Yup, 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 yup. Okay. Okay, where's my music? It's just the quietest track in existence. It'll kick back in. What is this coded in? I haven't been paying attention to the screen much. C++. Let's see what we got, guys. Let's see what we got. Don't want you right now. Don't want you right now. Uh-oh. Where did this come from? When we render, we want to swap right. Good... Okay, hmm, that was weird. I think we tabbed out. Maybe we have a little bit of tab issues going on. We'll get back to that. Not looking at that right now. So go away. Go away. I'm just trying to see what is messed up. You know what we could do? Nope, that won't work. Will that work? Will that work? What do we do? We, we force the flush. Do I even need to force a flush at this point? Because it's in our background texture. It's going to render on top of everything, but this is per layer. Let 
me take this out real quick. We do want to make sure it gets enabled no matter what here. And then just turn it back off here. Uh, cannot batch between layers be here to strip. Yep, of course, of course, of course, is a horse, of course. This is at the end. That's controllers. And it's gonna flush again. And that's joints. Hmm. And then we force the flush all the way at the end and we turn lighting off. So I think that's what's messing us up here. I'm just thinking. Thinking why this is not rendering and what we could do to make it render. Well, for debug purposes, all right, so we've already flushed. Let me just see what happens if I... We've already flushed, okay. Uh, enable... Use lighting. False. And we don't need to do that then. Problem is it's going to not turn lighting back on at, at the end here. So I need to kind of get that. But okay, so sort of working. Sort of. Uh, M batch render. Use lighting. False, yeah. If M ambient alpha greater than zero, M batch use lighting is true. Turn it back on. Let's see if this still kind of works. I'm skeptical, but maybe. No, that's what I figured. Yeah, we don't want to draw this. We want to draw this into the diffuse channel, into our uh, FBO. That's right, kill him. Uh, let's see. Let me catch up on chat here. Let me catch up on chat. What was the worst that you've ever have made in C plus plus Ziri? What was the worst? Pro I don't know, my friends. Probably something when I was like thirteen or fourteen. I'm sure it was really bad. Uh, when did you first properly learn code? When I was in junior high and high school, I started developing software. That's where I learned, and then I went to college for this. What does the M stand for before the name of each function name? It's not the, before the name of each function name. Uh, Amsoid, uh, M stands for member. M for member variable. What's up, Docs Mari? I didn't even see you uh, enter the chat, Doc. How you doing, Docky? Okay, so this is not a good idea. Doing this like this is not a good idea. I need to need. I definitely need to. All I want to do. Let me undo back what I was doing. When we go to generate all this debug data. I just want to render this to our FBO. Which means I just need to make sure. Thank you for the follow. Our FBO, the correct one, is enabled. Doxmar, that is not a. Oh well, yeah, this one. Sorry, that was uh, that's my bad. 
It's still a member variable of this function, Doxmari. Meh. <laughs> it's a member variable of this local scope. <laughs> yes, you're right, Doc. You're right. I'm probably going to remove that variable altogether. I don't know if we need it anymore. I thought the use of M was deprecated. Nix, there is no such thing as deprecated the use of, uh, of uh, naming conventions. There is no naming convention deprecation going on. Thanks a lot, Swag. Thank you, man. I hope you flexed all over the place in there. Hope you flexed all up in there. Alright, let's go. Let's step through this again real quick. So this is after we flushed. Which means... Well... Yeah, but the problem is... This doesn't mean anything, necessarily. Right? This doesn't necessarily mean anything. Let me, we're gonna go check. I'm gonna see when that happens. All right, so in that case we did, okay, good. Okay, so a couple times we are gonna flush internally. We're using the lighting system. Thinking crazy start thoughts. Well, this is gonna force all of this to re-render, isn't it? I wonder if I need a new render step. Because I don't want to do all of this uh, in force. I really just want to rerun the shader. Or even bypass this for a draw. Yeah. Let me see. I think I can just do the... Well... Hmm. Visual Studio, Callum. I'm just happy that uh, I got my streaming uh, stuff mostly worked out. The sound's still not exactly where I want it, but uh, it's, it'll get better. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it dialed in a bit. Good night, James. Uh, good luck in school tomorrow, man. Good luck in school tomorrow, dudes. I don't know why this is. Uh, unless I'm just thinking crazy stuff right now. So we've uh, we're in a frame, or I'm sorry, we're in a layer. We're in a layer of a scene. We're trying to do all of our internal debugging, which means uh, we wanna we wanna uh, generate all that to the diffuse handle, right? We have an FBO for diffuse. Uh, so that's why if we enable. We want to switch over to it. 
so that we can then do all of our draw calls. And they're not even draw, it's just set a bunch of vertices, colors and verts, uh, directly onto the diffuse handle, which will put it into our um, texture. Yeah, okay, so if use lighting if enabled else, let's see if we can do uh, something fancy here. Otherwise, we just won't do anything because we don't need to do anything. All right, yeah, so we we'll switch back to buffer zero and then uh, flush the shader. So that's all I kind of want to do. Just want to flag it on, let our steward draw, and let's see if this works. <clears throat> Time to drink and party, James? Do it, buddy. Do what you gotta do, James. You ready to make another one? Swag, we're already making another one. We're working on two games at the same time. It's all about the beanie swag. Halo, thank you so much for following. You have enabled set to one right to make the if true. What's that, Amp? What's that? So we want to enable the diffuse buffer and then uh, disable the diffuse buffer. We're going to do a little bit of uh, work on optimizing this. I just want to, it, once I get it to work. Okay, so enable it. So our diffuse handle, that's our FBO. That's what's uh, in state right now. We will run through all of our items. And I did not even step through there. Let's do that again. Okay, we're disabling it. We're switched back to the uh, main buffer, right? Main back buffer, we wanna flush the shader. Oh, we already do this, that's good. I guess I don't have to. We'll regenerate everything. But this time, the diffuse handle should have uh, some extra verts in it, right? Eh hey! Ha hey! All right, let's go make this, uh, let's go set this up correctly. But uh, that's what I was trying to do. We got it. Is Rick around? What's up, Bob Train? Which Rick you talking about? Now my game will get a funny state. The factory's right on, Ubi, right on. Were you a zombie mother? Zombie dating sim part two, mystical? I like it, dude. <laughs> I like it. Um. Sorry, I need to uh, go to declaration here. So we want enable, and I would say bool uh, flush. By false, normally. That's why I said I need to put a state in here. Enable bool flush. Flush. If, <clears throat> if flush. Flush it. Flush it, good. And now back in scene. Uh, while we do that, if there was a debug that got drawn, then we want to flush. Otherwise, we don't want to do any type of weird flush, right? And I'd really like to optimize this even further, and but there, I don't think there's a way we can. About knowing if any uh, uh, debug states, maybe... Maybe we'll set like a global flag that says, hey, we're using debug states or, or something like that. But if we do this correctly now, we now have some of our debug states back. Let's make sure this works in uh, release mode. And I don't think I've fixed all of our debug states, so there's a few more we gotta check, but let's just make sure release mode's okay.
Zombie dating some cougars on the prowl. Whoa. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, Doc. Dr. Todd, you've been working on a game using C Sharp and OpenGL. I haven't been using shading since I really don't need any kind of special effects. Do you think I should use simple shaders for drawing? Uh, Dr. Todd, no. No. I don't think you should use simple shaders. If you have a need, uh, use shaders. Understand, it's a, I think it's actually very easy to get um, simple sh a simple shader pipeline into your, into your game. I don't know how you're doing... Well, if you're not using shaders, obviously using a fixed pipeline, right? Uh, you can bootstrap uh, a very simple shading system into your into your game if you want to do some type of post-processing effect on the full scene. Um, if you want to do shading on the per-draw call, that gets a little more difficult from a fixed pipeline. But it's not too hard to get uh, shaders added into a fixed pipeline system. Uh, as a deferred, um, deferred, uh, uh, effect system. But it depends on if you need shaders, Todd, right? It really depends. For the longest time, our game had no shaders. It was just recently that I decided I wanted a proper dynamic lighting system in our game. So I went and added shaders in. So many warnings, Amp. Yeah, unfortunately, guys, when you uh, take on uh, open source code, sometimes that open source code might have a lot of warnings. Don't go fix those warnings. Don't waste your time fixing other people's warnings in someone else's engine. Focus on what you're trying to accomplish, right? Okay, let's make sure collisions are still getting updated. Oh, I gotta go fix... Uh, I need to fix something as well. I turned something off on the shader. Let's make sure it really is working. I have a feeling we'll be fine. We're still fine. We still have lighting. Let's go see how uh, this all looks with lighting enabled. So we have lighting and we have um, collision shapes being drawn. All of our doors are right here. Hmm, we gotta make sure doors are getting spread out a little more in the game. That's a little too close for our doors. A little too close. Hmm, anyway. So glad that I'm not running OBS on my desktop anymore when I stream. I can actually see proper performance in the game uh, as I do things. It's very, very handy. I can zoom all the way out and then not like chunk. Didn't have any warnings when it got compiled. Haha, <laughs> docs. Okay, let's go check our other. Let's go check our other. Um, let's just do everything. I'm curious. Some of the stuff overrides other things, so. We'll see where we're at here. So full is working. Good. Uh, looks like bounding boxes. This is all in wireframe mode, mind you. So we got to be careful there. I wonder what lighting looks like in wireframe mode. Because uh, uh, we should still enable lighting and all that fun stuff. Interesting, interesting. Uh, even though we're in wireframe mode, there's some things that are not done on the diffuse channel. Um, they're done in the light texture channel. This light here is actually generated in the light. All these bullets are from the light texture. So that's why they look like that. That's cool. It's actually pretty damn cool. Uh, there is lighting right here, which is kind of nice. Uh, I think I want to maybe add a debug overlay for our point lights. I think I might do that at some point. Okay. Let's take metrics off. Real quick. Let's take wireframe off. Let's make sure everything, uh, but those two still working. I don't know if joints are working. I'm going to take a look at joints here in a second as well. Yeah, joints are not working. We will have to go fix joints. 
Everything else looks good, though. But I noticed that joints were a little different. So if we turn just joints on... We'll keep joints and audio. So audio might not be working either. Oh, I need collisions on to see joints as well. We're going to look at that in a second. All right, so... Uh, debug controllers. We don't use controllers. I don't care about you. But here's joints, right? So we're going to do the same system. And the good thing is this only happens inside, inside the debug joint, so we don't have to be as optimized about this. We can just say yes. And we can say yes. Because this does not return anything right. True. Just force it. And we're okay. So now joints, uh, I think, will render. What's up, Kitty Plash? How you been, man? Kitty Plash. How's it going? Kitty Plash. Give me a second. This takes a few minutes to build, then we'll try it out. So anyone uh, just joining the stream and you were not here earlier and you didn't hear what I said, uh, either tomorrow or Saturday, we are going to be doing an early zombie dating sim uh, day. Normally, we would not be doing that this weekend, uh, but I want to start getting a little bit of work done on the dating sims dialogue editor so we're going to be working on a custom uh a custom um designer tool so that my uh, game designers can develop all the dialogue for the zombie dating sim if you've ever seen a dating sim game guys it's not a lot of programming it's not necessarily a lot of art it's a lot of writing it's a lot of writing it's got to be written in a special way so that the stories all make sense and they all have their own paths and trees uh, so we need to we need to write some custom tools for it. So this weekend, tomorrow or Saturday, I'm gonna be working on that, and I'm also gonna be getting in some new animations for the new rebels, which hopefully we can start integrating as well. That's our weekend plans. It's gonna be good. Let's take a look. Let's see it. There we go. And there we go. We got the drawings back for um for uh for joints for joints. Yeah, good, good. Good, good, good. Let's test audio now. Without wireframe on. And to test it, we'll spawn a turret. And we'll just kill it. And there we go. Okay, good, guys. We got it all working. We fixed it. We fixed it! And now I'm going to turn it all back off. Because we normally don't look at this stuff. I just wanted to get my debug tools fixed, right? Don't break your debug tools. They're, you need them. You need them. You need your debug draw tools, guys. Welcome back, Callum. Kitty Plus games turned out awesome, man. Home early tonight. Oh my god, Mystical. Have fun, buddy. Uh, so this is open source. You've read everything, understood what it do, and now you are continuing the project. Uh, AMP, uh, the engine, as Docs Mario just said, yeah, it's open source. I'm uh, I'm uh, fixing it for my uses, AMP. I am fixing it for my usage, right? Because we're here about getting making games to put out for people to play. Uh, I love open source, and we do. Con I do contribute back to the Torque 2D engine every once in a while with uh, with push request or pull requests. Some of my changes are even in the engine, uh, but we don't do it all the time because it just depends on our timing. I'm going full screen, guys. We're gonna go test out the game in full screen. Let's play it once through. Play it once through. Let's see what's going on. Let's 
Oh my god, I'm getting so good at this game. Oh! Just as I said that. Oh, can I make it past this thing? Well, let me kill this up here first. Oh, I just ran past it. And I'm a psycho. I always rush. I always get in a rush like this right here. And I just jump right back into that laser trap. In the crazy laser fields. <sighs> Alright, toys. Oh, I wasn't even looking! I didn't even see you coming! <laughs> oh, man. Will this game be for Mac? We might do a stretch goal. We might do a stretch goal to support Mac. We might. Okay, this is good. Let me take a look at something. Okay, good. Good. I'm gonna look at my Trello board, guys. See where I need to be for tonight. Okay, we've been working on the save system. We've been working on the save. Working on the save! Oh my god. Uh, we still need to update the platform generation. Platforms are still not generating exactly how I want them. I'm going to add a new task to my board here, though. Uh, fix door distribution. Oh, yeah. Get that door distribution out there. Uh, Rebel Art's coming along. Tomorrow, we we'll start seeing some of that, hopefully. In our save system. All right, let me close this down now. Where are we at with the save system? Let's go find out. Thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. Let's do some tests. Let's do some tests. So we actually can store now. We are storing if we want to. We can save the game state, which stores all of our random seeds for every map. Uh, I want to be able to use that to rebuild or regenerate uh, the space station from the save game data, from the, sa the, the random seeds in the save game, uh, and not our random seeds. Not, not new random seeds, I should say. Sorry. Thank you for the follow out there. What's up, Bumblebee? How you doing, man? How are we going to do that? So how are we going to do that? Um, load game state. We have a saved game. Set our random seed. From the saved game, we can go get uh, the station. Right, that's the station. Um, just trying to think how I want to make this work. How are we going to make this work? There's our station. We save it as the station planet. So this is our recreated station. Cool. What makes up the station? What makes up the station? Let's go just go take a look. Let's go take a look. So when property bags, we don't need a new of those. Um, we have the planet. We just need to reinitialize the planet. Because right now, yeah, let's do this. Uh, the station, 
Let's an init. Create. Get rid of all this for a second. Just collapse it so I can see what's going on. So we want to stop... Oh no, this this is okay. This should always happen. This just sets up our property bag. This is static data. It doesn't change, right? Okay, good. Who's calling this? Because this will go... This creates our station config. Um... This is going to go recreate some data. So this is not what uh, I want to see happen. Well, we just need an overload here. Save state. Yep, let's do it this way. So we'll pass in the save state. I want to create the new planet. In uh, if is object save state. If we don't have a save state passed in, we'll initialize a new planet. We'll go through here. So planet object, we initialize the planet object. And planet init, okay, we're just setting up some decent data where do we call generate okay so in the create computer room that's fine this is good right we're gonna go generate the planet in here we don't ever we do not want to generate we want to load the state um, so we have the planet we just want to say planet dot load state from our safe state and let the planet go figure out what that means Doxbari is neither friend nor foe he can be no one's friend he can be no one's friend <laughs> Uh, that's good, Bumblebee. Me. Um, sorry, I'm not paying attention to chat. Mick Troll, how did you make the character? It's not our character. Spine Boy is the character that comes with Spine. Uh, our artist, one of the last things she's going to do for our initial art set is work on um, our hero. I'm learning how to code, doing an hour of code right now. Nice, kitty, nice. It starts with an hour, and then tomorrow you're going to do uh, an hour in ten minutes. And then the day after that, an hour in 20 minutes, one day, you're going to be up and you're going to be doing like four full hours of coding. Oh my god, can you imagine it? Alright, where do we call Planet Creedian? Sorry. Let's get this up and running. So in our player system, right, when we reset... We uh, recreate the station. That's cool. So we'll figure this out. Because uh, we probably don't want this to happen in... Well, we do want this to happen in Reset. But yeah, we'll figure that out. But first, let me go to Planet. We have Save State. We also want Load State. Function Planet Load State. This dot save. The save file. Or the save object. Um, so what I want to do is say this. What are we saving anyway? Maps is the main thing we save, right? This.maps.clear. Let's just delete all the maps first of all. And then for i, i less than save.maps.get counts. Go through all the maps in the save file. Get the objects. Okay. That's the save map. That's just a save map. Um, I need to create a new map. 
What do we normally do? I need to know what the property bag creates static map. I need to make sure I'm saving that with the map. I don't think I'm getting that right now. I need to know what the property bag is for, because that's get passed in. Uh, in create map. We're gonna pass in some properties. And this is fine, because this is all static data. Nothing really uh, interesting happens here yet. To the Matrix over there, swag man. Those who know binary and those who tent. Is often featured in. Oh, really? Do I have more viewers on Twitch or live coding? Uh, I have more viewers on Twitch the, right now. California, rest in peace. What are you talking about, Tara? Uh, what is the percent sign? It's for local scoping, Nix. It's just a, it's just how they define variables in TorqueScript. I'm just thinking this through, thinking this through. So in the planets, we create static maps. Cool. Create random maps. Cool. Link map, okay. All right. Uh, so I need to create a map. I do need to know what the property is for this, right? Um, do we pass that anywhere? Static level content, number maps, level name, create static map. Get property bag, planet manager, that's passing. Let me check this real quick, create map. Uh, properties are set on the terrain properties, okay. And then in Planet Manager, get a property bag, goes through these property collection, which should say new property path. Okay, good. Oh, that was a lot of work just to say from here, when we save state, I want to say save dot uh, property name was equal to this dot properties dot name because I want to store it. Okay, good. All right, so now back at the planet side. Yeah, planet side. Uh, when we load state, we have the object. I can get the prop name from O dot property name. I can then say map is equal to this dot create map prop name. Make sure I got that right. Oh, I got it. I want to look up the properties. Oops. And then we create a map from that. Get the properties from the property name. That's right. All right, and then I can go create the map. Uh, and then we say this.maps.add map. So it gets added in the right order. And then at the same time, I can say if there's another state we store, right? Yeah. If uh, save dot starting map idx is equal to i, this dot 
starting map is equal to map. Perfect. So we can rehydrate this for the most part. There's another thing I have to do in here, by the way. I want to say map dot um, load state, and I want to pass in O. So now we can go back to train object, right? Function train object load state this save file. And the only thing I care about at this point is saying uh, this dot set seed of save dot random seed. Holy smokes. Exactly, doctor. Doctor. Yeah, live coding TV, guys. It's fresh. It's only a month old. And still, it's doing very well for itself. So why the this, Kaloon? Uh, that's TorqueScript does not have TorqueScript's not a true object oriented programming language. Uh, it fakes it a bit by uh, us passing as the first variable the reference to the object that uh, owns this function. Later, Kaloon. Have fun, buddy. Kind of, Nix, kind of. Yeah, that Mashable article was very nice for uh, live coding. You have it less since. Trav, hopefully you've been having fun at least on my stream since you found us, buddy. Yeah, Mashable, that was, uh, that was a nice article. Mad Cobra, I am not using Linux, no. I am using a Windows. Uh let me just make sure I have no script errors. I want to I want to test this. I'm thinking how can I debug this sort of. And I'm thinking what I'll do is if we die, just for just a test. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Cause I'm saving off a copy again for test. For testing, we call uh, save game state. Where is this being called? After the map is created, we save the game state, and then immediately we're trying to load the game state. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it like that. Instead, I'm just going to store a global variable. Uh, oh, I don't need that. We we actually store it to file. I don't need to say that. Once I have the station, yeah, right. So load game states. I'm being a dummy. I'm being a dummy. One more thing I gotta do. As I think this through. Reset. So ultimately, I'm just going to bind into reset. This is kind of where we rebuild the game anyway, right? We call station planet dot create. Now I can pass in a save state. So okay, so we'll do uh, load system. We'll won't delete this. Uh, we will set that. I still have to figure out some more stuff around this, but this is good enough to get get us testing until we refactor around this, right? So, yeah. Let's go back to main. Save is equal to load game state. And we'll just flip save into there. And then after it's loaded, I want to make sure save.delete happens, right? Let's delete our state. and Because we can reload it from disk. Yeah, let's go test it. Let's go see what happens. We gotta go die. Right on, Trav, right on. On their face and barely talk, wicked. Oh my god. <laughs> Bumblebee, you work on a Linux kernel? Nice. Use what do you. Use what do you a job? What, Bumble? What? 
What? Today we were told that CC was used in Linux in school. Mad Cobra, they lied to you. They lied to you! Well, what am I going to do when this game is done, Wolfman? Uh, probably go celebrate. Uh, and then come right back on stream and start working on the next game. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, huh. Let's go test it right now. I forgot that we call this at the beginning of the game as well. So this will let us test this. That's cool. Because we have the previous save state, by the way. Here's our save state. Here's the save game. Uh, we're not compressing it or uh, uh, making a binary file or anything yet. Makes it easy for us to debug because what do we got? We have a station main that has a random seed. Uh, it's the first uh, map, right? That has some fields. It's good. Mm, we have another station main. We have a station computer room and a station boss room, right? Oh, and we're not. There's a whole bunch more data we're not saving off yet. We're still getting to it. This is just the start of our save systems. A lot of work still need to be done. But uh, we have our planets. Check out load state. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's clear out our. Uh oh. Hold on, let me redo this. Because I just broke something. Where's that E at? Dismount camera. Hmm, I don't know what that what I just deleted, so good thing we have source control. Good thing we have source control, so I can just quickly go and see the freck I messed up. I got rid of this function. <laughs> I'm like, what did I delete by hitting E? Okay, let's try that again. I should make a DD one next. Wolfman, why are you so tie up on 3D, buddy? Uh-oh, guys. Looks like uh, the bot patrol's coming in. Or at least three bots. One second, guys. Uh, back to chat. Alright, uh, don't make a safe system, just say the game is early access. Oh my god, Mad Cobra. Oh my god. So many bad games out there under early access, right? Great trailer, and at, as the game moves on, you get a normal, non-original, easier to make game. I know, Mad Cobra. I, I, I agree with you, man. I agree with you, man. You're just going to get rich from the Enbass beanies in Wolfie Lights and not have to make another game. Also, you shouldn't make an Enbass bandana. <laughs> I should make some bandanas. I like that idea, too. Thanks for the follow out there. Thank you so much. Sorry, guys. I messed something up there, too. Uh, why is the save file not have maps? It should. Let's check our save file. Station planet should have a maps variable. Oh, I'm being a dummy. Hold on. It's because I'm being a dummy. Station planet. See in the safe box. We're gonna have multiple planets. They'll all be in the safe box. I just did that, didn't I? Oh yeah, that's fine, perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Clear our maps now. All right, here we go. Get the first save object. Uh, property names, a station name. We can get properties for that. We're gonna go, I don't need to care about you. You're just gonna create a normal map. It's a brand new spanky map. Let's go load the state, uh, which right now is a seed. 
Unfortunately, there's some other stuff not being uh, set up, but that's okay. And starting map is set. I love it. And then we delete that. We don't need it anymore. Okay. Uh-oh. Hmm, we're not getting the starting map. Let me go debug that. Twelve ninety seven. Let me see what this is. Get class name. It's a terrain object. Okay, that's fine. Oh, then we want to get the state. Oh, we got. Oh, uh, uh, uh. um, this should work too. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Get a map. Oh, the map dot properties are not being set. Why not? Okay. Let's go fix you then. Load states. Uh oh. Cause I'm being a dummy again. There we go. That'll fix it. I would buy one and bass bandana. Nice. Nice. So is this ban bandana thing happening or not? It, I will tell you it is happening, Tara. When it's happening, that is uh, where it gets a little more difficult. Well, let's see. Dumpy the Pickler. I like the name, by the way. I like the name. Uh, my friend and I are thinking of getting into amateur game dev. Where would you recommend we start? Dumpy, uh, what kind of uh, background do you have? Are either of you two developers? Are you artists? Uh, what kind of game development background? You could see you could have no background. That's fine. No shame in that. I'm just trying to give you the right information. So I want to know where you're at and what you're trying to do. So it doesn't look stupid when someone wears it. If you need a uh, bandana consulting, I can help. 20 bucks an hour, Jetty? All right, dude. I'm going to consult you on my bandana uh, consultation. We'll do like a, we'll a three-hour consultation, Jetty. We'll make it look right. <laughs> A secret RFP should be a beanie. I know, right, Wolf? Trying to do it now. Don't worry, Kitty. You just do that, man. You focus, Kitty. You focus. What's up, Proton? Uh, okay, so you know how to code, but mostly for scientific computation simulations. Python, MATLAB, uh, for Aster. Okay, Dumpy, you're on the right track, Dumpy. What you need to do right now is take the next leap from uh, scientific programming into game programming, right? It's just a different area of programming. And you're familiar with Python. Um, so uh, you probably want to go maybe write a simple game in Python using uh what's the python game library guys someone out in chat give us some python game libraries uh, and i want you to go write tic-tac-toe you and your buddy both can be working on this but i want you to write tic-tac-toe it's a simple enough game uh for you to get started on and it will, you will learn a lot by writing it Who did my artwork, Trump? Uh, uh, we hired an artist. I will give you guys her uh, website here in a, in a little bit. I got to go look it up again because I uh, always forget it. Actually, let me see if she's even online right now. She usually is. She might not be right now. It's like bonded legal Terra. Nice. PY game, thank you guys. PY game, yeah, there's Panda 3D. I think PY game is probably a better uh, starting place for him. I think PY game is uh, a better starting place. That's such an amateurish rate. Really, professionals should start at least 60 an hour. What a uh, real professionals, Docs Mario, will charge like 300 an hour. Yeah, it's tic-tac-toe, Dumpy. We're here for you, man. We're here for you. All right, we got our starting map. Uh, we even got the station... Oh, 
That still failed, didn't it? You evil, evil thing, you. I was so confident. I was so confident, guys. Alright, 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 alright. I got it, I got it, I got it. So that's our problem. We don't have a prop name. What the hell happened here? We had property name coming. Let's go look here. Did I break a property? Ooh. Apparently, I did. And why did I do that? How? how oh. I think I got ourselves into a little bit of a loop here. I think I put ourselves into a little bit of a loop. Uh, let me double check. Easy to fix, though. It's because we're doing some test code. I think we're always trying to load our save file, and I, the save file was bad, and it wasn't doing something, and now we have a bad save state. So, yeah, no problem. It's not what I wanted to debug. What the station creates. Because I can just go delete our save file and make sure... Yeah, we're always passing in a save state. Okay, no problem. No problemo! Just delete you. Now let's see what happens. Hopefully we get nothing in the save state. Okay, good. That's fine. Okay, good. And now we'll have a new save state, which is correct. It has all the property names. We can stop this now. Remember, it's just for testing purposes. You need some help? Kitty, kitty, don't, it, don't paste code in chat. That's, uh, that's not a good thing. Kitty, uh, use, um, paste bin. What's up, Cal Senpai? How you been, man? There's our save state, right? Oh my god, guys, so close! We're all, we're so close! Now, granted... We're not getting all our tiles and uh, and everything. We're getting some weird stuff going on. Yay! So that'll be fun. Uh, everything is still proper. Why did that happen? Let's go find out. Let's go find out. Get rid of you. Property name, station main, uh, station main. Oh, I think I know why. Oh, I know exactly why. It's like we created it, but we're not actually... Re the static content, we gotta be careful about how we load this stuff up. I'm thinking... And this is more very implementation, implementate, oh, I can't speak today, uh, specific for our every object, right? For the station, when we load a save file from the station, what should we load? What shouldn't we be loading? Um, before instance, the computer room uh, is not something we need to save to disk or in the save file, and it's uh, not something we need to uh, reload necessarily. Uh, we just want to reparse the, because it's a static room, it doesn't change. Some state data changes, which we'll, so, we'll be storing uh, uh, globally, that's fine. Um, but otherwise, we need to make sure we recreate the, 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 the computer room each time. Which means I need to pull this out, because this needs to now happen up here. And 
Good thing we already have the map. That's perfect because I just want to say recreate these two after the state. The boss room doesn't have to, uh, we want to recreate that as well, sort of. We'll have to put some code in there around the save state. Hmm, that should have kicked us over. Let's uh, see what's going on. Oh, oops. Look up the right map. Thank you for the follows out there. Thank you so much. Okay. Got the planet. We got the map now. What are we... What are we hitting here? Oops, sorry, one second, guys. Um, portals are not being... S Let me redo this. Let's see what we're messing up. Step through. Let's just step on through to the other side. Not boss room, but computer room. Let's step on through. All right, adding terrain, computer objects. Cool, 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 cool. Get the starting map, good. Uh, set its previous map to us, good. That's it, huh? Ah, okay, so there's some bad stuff going on in boss room, but that's okay. Get that. Let's see what happens. We made it active. Looks like it was fine. There we go. But more importantly, more importantly, if we come out to the game here, the uh, the enemies are not being saved in the save file, so those are going to be random each time. But every time I load the game now, we should have a platform right here. We should have these platforms right here. These no longer will be randomly generated because we're saving off the seed and restoring it when we regenerate the procedural level. Uh, I want to go test that. Cal Senpai, the game's going great, man. Why is it bad to post code in chat? Uh, Kitty, because it's just really hard to read in chat, that's all. By complexing it up finding this, Pearl's the only one in that chart that's like dive bombing. Hold on, Jetty. I wanna I wanna look at this graph. Let's take a look at this, guys. Uh, popularity. This isn't by complexity. This is popularity of language index, right? Where is my favorite language? Pearl. In 2004, it had an 8% share, which is already very low. Look at this, guys. In 2013, Pearl is used by nobody. Pearl is used by nobody. I bet you there's more Ada development going on than there is Pearl. Look at Objective C, by the way, uh, created in 2011, uh, taking over the Pearl market. That's what happened here, guys. Objective C has taken over the Pearl market. Uh, that's funny. Uh, where's Java at? Is this Java up here? Probably. That's my guess. Is this PHP? Okay. C++, uh-oh, waning in popularity a little bit. It'll come back up, don't you worry. C sharp is this line right here, I think, right? Python, look at Python on the huge rise. Actually, to tell you the truth, does it, is it seems like me that Python and uh, Perl uh, are inverse. All the Perl developers have moved over to Python. Look at that, look at that. All the Perl has moved over to Python, that's awesome. 
But look at our map, guys. We're generating the exact same map every time, every, every time now. When the space station was so dark and scary, Cal Senpai, look at the. Do you like the new lighting system? You like the new lighting system, Cal Man? You can tell me if you do. Dumb Tar, your company's the only one that uses Pearl. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, Job is doing just fine, Nix. It's doing just fine. And of course, if we delete our save, right, if we delete it, we will get a whole new random game. Whole new random game, right? I love it. I love it. There's so much more that we have to um, put back in our Dewey. I'm, you know, thinking about it. If we think about randomness and procedural generation, as long as we set the same seed, as long as the same seed is set, I'm thinking here, we're going to get the same distribution points. We're going to run through the same loop of uh, generation. Uh, I don't think I have to save off enemies. I don't have to save off any of the entities that spawn in the game. Because they're going to get recreated in the exact same correct order uh, from when we uh, created it in the first place. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But why am I not getting any enemies at all right now? Because it kind of broke something. I sort of broke uh, something something. Oh my lord! Oh my god! We have a game full of bad stuff. Uh, this is because... Okay. Nope, this is... Uh, this should be solvable. We're using, uh, am I not, si I might not be reloading it, but we should be coming from the property bank. We're going to go debug this real quick. In our spawn table, spawn tables, we're getting a weird spawn table, looks like, where all we have is a million billion of something or others. So let's uh, debug where we use uh, the spawn tables. Uh, yeah. Because when we load up the planet, when we create the planet, create map, create map, create map. We have the properties. And then when we uh, generate or populate the map we generate the map let's just start from here let's see what's going on let's see what's up but you were a nightmare it's come true the scheme count the scheme always counts all right here we go we're going to get our placement points. We have 259. Good. Good. We have no rooms because uh, that's uh, this is something we do need to save into the save file. We have a previous map, right? We want to set up the door. Set that up. Okay. Get placement counts again. All right. So this is what I'm talking about. Can we get the station main table one? 
Are we not reloading spawn tables? Maybe we're not. No, we get the props. Okay, we found it. Okay. Get a placement. Draw an enemy type. Laser defense entity. Maybe I'm not resetting... Uh, maybe I'm not storing uh, and resetting the random number generator correctly. Because all I'm getting back is laser defense entities. Let's see, what do we do in draw? We call get random. Uh, our probability sum is pretty high, but we get back zero every time. Uh, okay. Well... Obviously, obviously, I'm not uh, setting random correctly, right? So that's a problem. That's that's an interesting problem. In our save, let me see if I'm foobarring something up. It's good when, when you call get random and you get zero back every time. We're supposed to be setting a random seed. Oh. Oh. Let me take a look here. Yeah, we have a random seed. Okay, I don't know how that happened. Let's delete you. Let's see what we get now. Obviously, if you pass zero, guys... You're gonna get zero. Okay, that's what's going on, right? I if I delete the save file, I'm gonna set a random seed. Even though we are having a valid game state, I'm setting zero in here. Uh, I just want to say if say if uh, is object save game. This was my little it's like. All right, let's delete our save file, uh, and that was doing that. Let's try that again. I think we'll be fixed now. Get rid of all you. Okay, now if we close it down, we will have a proper random number. And now we're going to use our save file. Let's go see what items we got, right? You can never be sure. Oh, I love it. Good Dilbert strip right there. All right, so if you look what we have here, we have a female goblin, male goblin, a uh, male goblin up here, and then a turd, right? Every time I load the game, every time I load the game, we should have the exact same uh, uh, placement and distribution. And we do not. Okay, so something's not right. Obviously, something's not right. We have the same landscape. Let's close this back down again. Just make sure this is being called, actually. Okay. So we're setting the random seed, right? In terrain object. I should log out our random rolls. That's actually an interesting thing to do here in um, Get Random. Let's do that, actually. This will let me know. Where are you getting randomness from, Esther? I don't know, Doc Smart. I'm going to go find out. This is... Uh, this is Torque2D's random system. Uh, let's see. Use a set random seed to initiate the random number generator with the initial seed of start seed. Okay. Get the random seed, right? So we can call set random seed. You don't have to pass anything in. So just to make sure. Uh, 
let's see what happens when I debug this real quick. Use the same source. Uh, Torque should use the, the same source for randomness throughout their whole system. I don't know if Box2D, does Box2D have a random number generator? Does it use random numbers? I'm not too worried about Box2D random But, you know, by the way, we're not trying to save... Uh, us, um, our save games are not supposed to be like a snapshot in time moment. I'm just trying to save state so we can rebuild the same world. Uh, I don't care if an item was mid-flying or something like that when we save the game, right? Because that doesn't have to be mid-flying uh, when we load the game. Because we're probably not going to reload from within the map. We'll probably reload you at the start of a map. Is what we've been thinking. Okay, sorry. Let's uh, see what we got here. I'm in release mode, aren't I? I'm like, why can't I see this variable? That's why. Oh my god, we're almost f we're five and a half hours in. Not one uh, problem with my capture card. I think I can honestly say problem fixed. I love it. Oh, I got you, Doxmar. I got you. But I don't care about that, right? That's fine. That can have a different order every time the game starts up. Reordering joint constraints. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're not passing in... What is doing this? Where is this coming from? Code block. Uh, set random seed. Good. From. Create. App core create. One second, guys. I think I'm calling this multiple places. We set a random seed initially there, and then we want to override the random seed. That should be okay, maybe. Uh, I'm going to go find out. Well, that's right, the stupid journaling system. This is how Torque used to do uh, safe games, by the way. They used to do this uh, really bad, like, journaling. Uh, as you can see, it's not even uh, enabled by default anymore. I don't know if the new Torque even supports the journal system properly. All right, so we save the random seed off. And, all right, so next time we come back in here. If you can't ensure nothing else is using the randomness and you can't expect to get the same sequence out, I can expect to get the same sequence outs that I care about, right? which is world generation. I don't care about box 2D, because box 2D doesn't go into our world generation. Um, so that, if that has a slightly different state, that should be okay. But we'll look at it too. We'll look at it too if it uh, becomes an issue. The rainbow number generator. I love it, Cal. Okay, so this time we do have an argument, right? We got our seed. Oh my lord. Sorry, I'm just looking at how they do their random... They implement their own random number generator. If I, I just noticed. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to store seed. I'm going to put some breakpoints in here. I want to see what the heck's going on here. Who uses this? At least that's this random 250. I don't know what random 250 is. But there's a random LCG. Set global random seed. Whoa, that's what we're doing, by the way, right? That's in the constructor. Oh, we can reset the seed. I wonder if that's happening. This is going to give us... Uh, it's gonna set a new seat value. I'm just putting everything. I want to see where this is being used. Ba, 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 ba. 
What do we need to do a raffle? I don't know, kitty. Am I using a bootstrap launcher in this game? I am not, kitty. Welcome back, Tara. Uh, Doc Smart, I do that actually for world generation. Well, for, um, for world generation, I use my own RNG, and we store all that. Uh, for entity generation in a map, though, we use torques, and maybe I'll bypass that. Uh, we could, we could bypass that, yep. I'm thinking about it. I'm just curious what is going on with torques, uh, random number generator. So here's that random eye. Here's our seed that we set, right? If seed is too low, interesting, it'll give you a new seed. I don't think that ever happens. You know... Oh my god. This is, the, this is an odd random number generator. I don't use any launcher, kitty. What do you mean, launcher? We just, we have an executable. We run our executable. That's our game. Um. So this, the, this should be fine. We should be getting back, uh, the same random numbers. We should be getting back the same random numbers each time. Tap a rainbow to get colors, and you sell those colors to make money. Oh my god, Calcify. Oh my god. Oh crap. I know what's going on. And uh, Doc Smari, you're right. I have to do that. Uh, we use, uh, Doc Smari. <laughs> I use the random, I use the, uh, random number generator for other things in the game as well. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a very, it's very, uh, ordinary, uh, uh, RNG. But I use the random number generator, Doc Smari, for other things in the game. Like, when we move, when we run across, uh, the ground, and we make those sounds, we use the random number generator to randomize our sound pitches. Uh, so that's already poisoning our random number sequence, right? That's poisoning our random number sequence. Uh, when we go later on to want to gener regenerate our, um, entities. So we just need a dedicated RNG for, uh, for the stuff that we want to re-regenerate from a save file. That's all, right? Not a big deal, not a big deal. And we'll probably just use, uh, I'll expose the map, uh, the map object already has its own random number generator. We'll probably, I'll expose that as a script, uh, interface to get a random number from it. And we only use that for generating, uh, world content. So that'll be fine. Are you guys tired of hearing that? Oh, <laughs> Doxmari. I'm gonna give you a nickel every time you're right, Doxmari. Kitty, how do you live stream on Twitch? What do you mean? You uh, set up uh, something like OBS and uh, hit the uh, go button, buddy. So, yeah. And it's still that smart, you were right. <laughs> Answer <Hazardous>. this. <laughs> I'm gonna give... Docs Mari and Azrenus a free beanie when we get them made up. You heard it here live on stream, everybody. In Bass Beanies going out to both Azrenus and Docs Mari. Uh because they put up with me. Because they put up with me. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let me go do this real quick.
This should be super duper easy. Hopefully. Yeah. I think so. Maybe. I don't know. Um... Um, 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 um. Where you at? There you are. Before I go into the script side. So we have our own random seed that we pass in, right? We create our own uh, random engine. So we're just going to create our own... And we will do a couple of overloads. Or should we just do one around... I don't need float random numbers, I don't think. I just need whole numbers. Yeah, we'll just do that. Do you get a free bandana? It help depends, Jenny, if you help me design it. Do you need it to generate the same sequence at all? Do I need it to generate? Oh, I mean, Doc Smart, you make a good point, right? Do we need to regenerate the same uh, map entity sequence? I think for now we probably do. Uh, I, I understand. I get you. I get you that. Do we need to? In a save game, in a save game, we probably want to. If it if you die, we delete your we delete the not the whole save file, right? We'll delete all the map data uh, and regenerate the game if you die. Uh, but if it's a save file and you just uh, continue your game from where you left off, we probably will uh, want to regenerate that same sequence. And on top of that, we're going to have to store a flag that if that entity has already been destroyed, we don't want to recreate it, things like that. But for the basic, just get some basic stuff in here. Um, let me see something. I want to create an even distribution and then roll it. And then run it with it. Between low and high. And just return the result, right? Oh, my Jetty? Yes, I could send you a high res, yeah. <laughs> Is there ever a chance they change the default random engine and you end up with different results? Azernus, they're better not. Uh, that'd be weird. I would have to recompile the software for that to happen, too. What OS am I using? Uh, Windows 7. What's up, Pyro? How you doing, man? Can you quickly explain an inline method is? I've seen that. Is that just a method is defined in the header? Uh, it's not a dumb question at all. I think Doc Smart gave a good explanation. Or he's about to. Basically, inlining is a preprocessor. Uh, uh, well, not really preprocessor. Where is it preprocessor? I think it is preprocessor directive. Uh, it basically tells your compiler that if I call a function that's set to inline, instead of uh, making a function call, the compiler is going to go copy the code in that function and replace it in place of the function call. So your code in your end, your binary will be bigger because you're duplicating that code all over the place. Um, but it'll be faster because you're not making a function call. But it's just a hint, right? When I say inline, it's not going to automatically just go inline it. It's just a strong hint to the compiler that you should consider inlining this. It's a copy pasta. Automatic copy pasta. Uh, so, Docsmart, so the save file doesn't save what was generated. 
does it need to generate it all over? Doc Smarty, the save file um, saves off. Right now, we're still building out exactly uh, the save file, but right now the save file is going to save the random seeds for all the maps so that when we regenerate the map, we should get back the exact same base start of the map uh, at the moment, right? So if I, I load a save file, I'll get the exact same map over and over again with the exact same enemies on there. Um, we'll then take have to take that a step further and say uh, some enemies uh, that would be generated should not be generated because in the save file, we said we've already dealt with those entities. Yep, I have a single color logo, Jetty. I do. Of course, Jetty. Of course. All right, let's go into here. All around our seeds. All around the seeds. Let's, uh, four and four. We'll say low and high. Low. Hot. Fix you. Uh oh. Get random number. And just return it. And that's not set seed, that's get random number. There we go. Uh, every time I open Gmod on Steam, it says uh, it stopped working. Do you know how to fix this? I do not. Save all the seeds and save all the input. Replay mode activated. That's uh, that's how a lot of replay files are done, actually, Azunis. <laughs> that is not a uh, uncommon thing. Then I'm gonna donate. <laughs> oh my God, Tara! Is the game gonna have randomly generated level trap? Our entire game is uh, procedurally and randomly generated. I know it doesn't look like it because we're in a space station, uh, and in space stations we actually turn off terrain generation so the terrain's completely flat, uh, but we do support uh, height mapped terrain, that's fine, uh, and you know, random platform generation, random ending, everything in our game is random or procedural, yeah. Now we gotta go fix the game. How many places do we call get random? Because I only care about in a couple places here. There's only a couple places that are important. I'll get back to you guys. Because I need to make sure I pass the map in here. I think we already are. Don't care about you. Hmm, do we call get random in it? We don't even we don't use this anymore, so that's gonna be fine. The spawn table is where we do this, right? I just wanna make sure. That's for flicker, that's okay. That's generate, that doesn't happen uh, in the save file. Won't happen in the save file, we're okay. Win 98 rules. Okay, so back to our terrain object. We get a spawn table. I think I'm going to be passing in the map here. Uh, from the spawn table, we just call draw. Yep, so I'm going to pass this into our spawn table draw. Mm 
loot table draw. It's a spawn table draw, right? The map that we're spawning against, so that we can just call map dot get ran. Let's take a look. Let's go take a look. Okay, so we are passing in the map. We are not getting a unknown command get random because I called it get random number. Let's try that one more time. I should use immediate rendering for the entire game. I'll think about it, Tycoon. I'll think about it. Uh, get, because we're in release mode as well. Set this up right. What's up, G Fuller? We have to go fix that still. Uh, what language are the C of, I assume it's, it's not C sharp. This is Torque Script. Random numbers! And different random numbers. Okay, so now let's let this load and we'll try it a couple times. So right at the start, we're getting this into a, into a goblin girl, goblin male, and then uh, up at the top. Now these are still not uh, correct. We need to go get, we need to go fix those. Get random, oops. In our objects here, we pass in the map. We just want to use map dot get random number. Turret entity, same thing. Get random number. And then a laser trap as well. So properties, I'm gonna have to add this in to here. Map dot get random number. What is this for? Uh, this is for a laser trap. We can do that, and that will be it. Who's using a laser trap? Oh, we already passed it in. Look at that. I was super smart. So in properties, oops, not you. Yep, okay, let's try it now. We should get the same, should get the same. Well, a couple things might be different, but Still not getting the same, are we? Let's take one more little looky loo. Somebody killed Chat Azunis, did they? So now we're getting the same generation, right? Now everything should be nice and synced up. Up, here, down, here, every time we run. We should get the exact same generation. Up, down, down, perfect stuff, guys. Just gonna try it a few times. O M G, I love it. Okay, let's commit everything. Commit it. Boom, boom, boom. 
I'm wondering, uh, we're going to have to do some testing on the safe system as well, but um, yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be just fine. Give me a moment here. All right, guys. All right, let's uh, take a look. A little looky here. Let's uh, let's wrap up for tonight. I want to wrap up. We haven't done a raffle at the end of the stream in a while, guys. So uh, let's do that and uh, let's call it a night. We're almost at our six-hour stream time during the week, which is pretty damn good. Uh, so give me a second. I'm gonna get this fired up. So if you can hear my voice, if you're out there and you want a chance to win a Steam game, we're just gonna pull maybe one, maybe two names. We'll do it pretty quickly, guys. Uh, let you guys off the hook. You're not sitting around for hours and hours hoping to win a Steam game. We'll just get your winners out there and out there, and off you go. But if you're out there and you want a chance to win a Steam game, all you gotta do is say one thing in chat. The bot just needs to know that you are active, and, uh, and it'll make that happen. Let me make sure I actually hit start here. And there we go. So, Azernus, uh, I'm the save system is not even close to being done yet, right? We still have to store what's been killed. We have to store your game stats. We have to store your inventory and your and the, and the player data, all that stuff, right? All that stuff. The we're just we're just scratching the surface of the safe system. Um, here, bra. What's up, Chera? Good stream and good time. He started at lunch and it just for a post where it, oh my god, Windows, I'm here for you, man. I'm here to make it happy. Just one thing in chat, guys. I love it. I love it. Yeah, so say it up, guys. Go and speak your minds by saying one thing in chat. <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll do some Steam Game raffles. Well, let me show you what we're raffling off. Let me get my raffle. My raffle wraps up. Yeah, I'm happy. Uh, save, the save system is actually turning out uh, easier than I thought uh, it was going to be. Uh, mostly because we were able to go into the engine and kind of hack up that save object into the serialization system so that we can save off uh, some complex data types very, very easily. Keep on lurking, man. Keep on lurking, deal. What's up, Jazer? Uh, Jetty, yes, I will try and send that to you tonight, uh, after the stream. Happy, happy, uh, end of Thursday, happy early Friday. I guess for some of you crazy people out there, it's like almost end of the workday Friday. That's nuts. That's too far ahead. It's like on the exact opposite end of the world. First day of spring? Oh my god. Happy spring, Europe. Happy spring, Europe. I like it, guys. So tomorrow. So tomorrow... I, it, I haven't decided yet. Either tomorrow or Saturday, we're going to be working on some zombie dating sim stuff. we got to start working on a dialogue editor. Hopefully, that'll be fun. It could be super boring. I don't know yet. I don't know. I'll try and make it fun. Uh, I, I can promise you that. I can try. Uh, but we're going to be working on a uh, you know graphical dialogue editor for the zombie dating sim. We're going to start working on that tomorrow or Saturday. I don't know yet. Uh, the, if we, whatever day we do that on the other day, we're going to see if we can finish up the save system here, right? We need to save player state. We need to save, um, what, uh, what entities have actually been destroyed on the map. Because right now we're recreating them. And, uh, we don't want that to happen. Uh, and I should have some animations coming in for the Rebels. I don't think they'll all be done tomorrow. But, uh, some of it might be done and we might be able to just drop it into game. And just see how it's looking, right? And then we can get some feedback to my artist. So that's uh, kind of our goals for the next two days. New Zealand represent Windows. Complete opposite end of the world. <laughs> 
Cow Senpai. That's right. You heard that right. Zombie dating sim. You heard that, guys. It's uh, it's coming a week early, guys. It's coming a week early. Uh, only because we got a lot of work that needs to be done on it. So I need to devote a little extra time than normal to the dating sim. Uh, and it's more so that if I can, I need to get the dialogue editor out there for my designer. Um... So that they can start working on the back end of the dating sim. They can start getting all the assets and stuff put together. And we can then slowly work on the programming of it uh, on our normal schedule, right? But uh, we need to put a little more upfront work into, into some tools. Into some tools. Thank you, Jazer. Thank you. Drink a little water before I roll some names. Oh, so delicious. Water never tastes so good. Mmm. Um, nummies. Oh, my num nums. Uh, 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 man. Let's see, where are we at here? Give me a moment. Give me a moment. Let me do a little refresh here. I just want to thank a few people for following today, if you're still out there. Uh, I didn't get your names, uh, because we were kind of focused, but, uh, This Dying Soul, 21 Chaos, Dumpy the Pickle, Zuntek, the U, the Alt Stone, and Halo, thank, and Nuevo Nogal, thank you guys so much for following, I absolutely appreciate that. Uh, also, Ampsword, Thigh, Zinu, and Zephyr, man, thank you guys also for following. You guys are rock stars, I love you all. We're on the road, guys. We're on the road to 5,000. It's going to be a good day. Thanks, Cal Senpai. Thank you. Azernus, what's that uh, code? You mean, uh, what's uh, the zombie dating sim coded in? Uh, it's in Godot, which is GD script. However, for the tools, for the tools, for, um,. For the dialogue editor, it's pr I'm not going to develop that in Godot because that's silly, guys. That's silly. Don't you don't have to develop your tools in your game engine, right? Uh, I mean, you can, but depending on the tool that you're developing, it's a little silly. I've been invited to play a game. Okay. Uh, what I think I'm going to do though is develop our tool in C Sharp. So any of you C Sharp heads out there, if you want to come watch some C Sharp development going on. We're pro I'm probably going to be writing this uh, dialogue uh, game tool in our favorite language. Diablos, what kind of game we're making? We're working on a roguelike sci-fi 2D platformer. Thank you so much there, Doxmari. A dialogue editor, Arnold C. Oh my god, the best idea has just been uh, met. The best idea has just been met. Oh, I also, guys, also, I wanted to do something uh, before I stopped streaming today. I've been wanting to do this for a little while now. Just getting around to doing it now. So there it is. There it is. It's been done. It's set, guys. It's in stone. Let's see if you guys can figure out what I just did. Yep, that's right, Diablos. Procedural Generation. Almost everything in our game is uh, procedurally generated. Oh, I didn't mean to close all that down. Guys, I apologize. Let me pull that back up. Get all this stuff back up. Oh, I have some more games I need to pull up, huh? We have some free floating games that I want to show. That you can also pick from. It's an ever short list. There we go. What's up, kitty? Azanus, you still out there by any chance? Uh, Anderson, I might have. I think I have one copy of um, the trading card beta, Anderson. So I might rig it in your chance, in your favor. I might do that. 
Diablos, I'll run it in a minute, man. Don't give me a give me a second and I'll run it. No, that's not a jetty. I did remember to pay my artist though. Oh my god, it's potato. It's potato head. What's up, potato? That's all our game. Well, if you we have our two pages. We have our two pages, kitty. If you go check the link. If you go check the link, you will see uh, all the games that are available. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's right, Trav. Some C sharp tomorrow, guys. Maybe tomorrow or Saturday. I just I don't know when. I don't know exactly when yet. Depends on my artist. Azernus has been on this stream forever. Forever, he's been around. He's been around forever, bugging me constantly. Uh, but it's always a good thing. It's always a good thing. Long overdue, by the way. Long overdue. Doing lightsaber sounds. <laughs> oh my god, Artemis. What's up? Uh, do I? Do I? Uh, there might be one or two hidden ones in there, Artemis. What, what's going on, Artie? Uh, Artemis, I heard a little birdie tell me that you're back to playing uh, Strife. Uh, what's your email so I can gift you this stuff? Uh, potato. Potato. Just use this link right here. No, that's not it. Uh, what do we do? Uh, donations? Oh my god, what's the command? I gotta go look it up now. Oh, there it is. Just click that link, uh, potato. Click that link and hit accept. And then give me all of your monies. Oh my god, Azernus, is it going to be a good game, or is it going to be a fun game? Here and there, but, uh, oh, still waiting on ranked. Right on, Adder. Uh, uh, right on, buddy, right on. Oh, I see Potato. All right, hold on. Let me send you a message with my email. Potato Master. All right, there you go. Check your Twitch messages, Potato. We'll pull some names uh, very soon, guys. Apparently, a Chirpin Potato would like to donate a few games, and uh, we will we'll let him get these games into the library before we pull the first name, right? Valve insists that you committed fraud and won't unlock your account. What the hell did you do, Potato? <laughs> oh, my God. But I wanted to let you know I'm still here. G Fuller, you're not stealing a raffle slot, man. If you win, uh, we just redraw, right? We, we know what's up. We know what's up, buddy. Don't feel that you don't ever have to talk when we're doing a raffle because you don't want to win or you're ineligible to win. Don't worry about that, man. We take care of it. Keep just talk away. Talk away. Don't worry about it, G Fuller. It's the weekend coming up, man. I, I think he might have stolen CSGO. He was trying hard. Last last I remember, Potato was trying real hard to get a cop to trade away for a copy of CSGO. Oh my god, Potato. Oh my god. Oh my god, I want some tacos. No dislike, Dane. I want some tacos now. I'm going to go get me some tacos. Anyone want to join me, taco night? It's Taco Thursday, guys. Has everybody pre-registered for WilkieCon yet?
Okay. You had some tacos earlier today? Gosh, man, I love me some tacos too. Kitty, I'm here to help, Kitty. Ever thinking of doing a 24-hour dev session? Jazzer, what do you guys think that would even be beneficial? If I did like a 24-hour dev stream, how how unhappy would everybody be if I did that? Let me check my email. What do we got here, potato? Oh my god. You treat this right? Well, I will treat this with kit gloves, potato. Chirping potato, though, wanted to send in the Bioshock triple pack, guys. That's awesome, man. Potato, thanks so much. Uh, we will put that to really, really good use. Super good use. There it is. It's in there, guys. It's in there. It's available. Winner can take it. Winner, winner. You're opening a panel at WilkyCon. Not sure what it'll focus on yet. I like it, Azurness. I like it. My brain is right after 10. I can do 24 hours, G-Fuller. Of course I can. Random mobs popping up. <laughs> oh, 12 hours, Cody. 12 hours art. Done. Would I be doing the art? Would I be doing the art? Alright, guys. Let's roll our first name. We can keep talking, but let's get some names. I said this was going to be quick. I'm sorry. This did not. This turned out not to be quick. I said we were going to do some quick rolls, but let's do that now. Alright, guys. Here we go. Two winners. We're going to draw two winners. Good luck, everyone. Our first winner is going to be... Porter J, are you out there, man? Say something in chat next 90 seconds, and uh, we'll be happy to give you a game. What? What is this, Anderson? What is this? Oh, Porter, man. Congratulations, Porter. Please let us know what game you would like, and we'll make that happen. You almost forgot to gift today. Oh, Anderson. The screenshots look neat. Oh, all right, buddy. All right. Okay. All right. We'll see. We'll see how neat it is. By the way, uh, Anderson, we do not have a copy of Mountain anymore. I forget who took Mountain. Uh, I was very proud of him. I'm still waiting for a game update. Okay, close that down. Close that down. Oh, look at that, guys. Potato, it's already taken. No problem, Porter. Congratulations. I figured that was going to be first out of the gates. Uh, it happens. It happens. You should have seen uh, the raffles when we had GTA 5 in there. It was uh, It was a nutty day. I need your email, though, Porter. I need your email. So if you can go check your Twitch messages, respond back to the one I just sent you with your email. Uh, make sure you check both your inbox and your other box, and I'll have Steam send you your game. Welcome up, Fabio. What's up, dude? And while we wait for, while we wait for that to happen, somebody wanted to see the game. Uh, let's go and make sure we build our game properly, and I will play it. I will see uh, how far we can get into the game. It's going to be bad. Oh, my God. We got to get... I mean, we, we just gave away our copy of Mountain. We need a new one. Anderson, we do need a new copy of Mountain. Where can I get my hands on a copy of the draw function? Which draw function, Nix? What's that, nerd? Who won uh, not long ago? How's it going, Freddy? 
How you doing, Freddy? All right, once our full program optimization is finished compiling, I will give you guys a little looky-loo at the game while we're doing some raffles. Porter? No. I gotta check my mail again. Hold on. Okay, you guys are making this a hard night to leave. Why am I checking my mail again? Am I? Holy. Oh, oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. I almost missed it. I almost. This is a really fun game, by the way, Potato. You've gifted this before, I believe, right? Stop out doing my. <laughs> I believe you've gifted this before. Uplink is a cool, cool um, game if you're in. If uh, if you like technology, so yeah. So there you go. So there you go. It's in the pool, man. It's in the pool, Potato. Right on. Freddy, this is totally different from what you've seen. What have you seen, Freddy? How do we enter the raffles? You just you just entered, man. By saying that question, you're in the raffle. See how easy that is? See how easy we make that? Let me go check my mail real quick here, guys. I think we got all our games in. I want to get this game off to uh, Porter. Get this game on off to Papa Porter. Papa Porter. All right, Porter. Bioshock Triple Pack coming your way, man. Courtesy of Chirpin' Potato, who just donated this game to the stream. It didn't even it didn't even have a chance to cool down in my gift library, because it's already gone. Go check your email, Porter. Uh, email's on its way. Uh, go grab that email, play the game, have fun, let me know, let me know. Give me an update. I want to hear about it. Alright. I'm gonna save our. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna delete our save file. I'm gonna generate a new game. I'm gonna run through the game one time, guys. One time. Good luck to me, right? Good luck to me. It's okay, G Fuller. It's okay. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I just know it. I'm just trying to take this slow. I'm trying to take this slow and not take any real damage. It's gonna take a while. Hold on, I can kill this one right now. There you go. I don't wanna die. I just don't wanna die. Dying sucks in this game. Like, the game yells at me when I die and calls me names. Uh, it's kinda mean. It's a little mean. No! Oh god. Okay, okay. Oh my god, I'm doing so good right now. Let's not rush. Let's not rush. Let's not rush it. Take it easy. I'm looking at chat right now at the same time, and that's always a really bad idea. Oh, crap! Oh, I got my shield up just in time. Alright, we're gonna let our shield regenerate. Uh, one second, nerd. One second. I will, uh, copy my link over. Give me a moment here, guys. There you go. No, that's not it. That's not the right link. I'm sorry. Hold on. There's my link to my inventory. There you go, guys. We're going to draw one more raffle winner. Don't run off, guys. Don't run off. Oh, my God, potato. Oh, my God. What am I going to do with you, Potato? <laughs> what the hell am I going to do with you, Potato?
Even though that doesn't matter. Oh, the Potato Master. Let's do this as well. What, what am I going to do with your potato? <laughs> It'd be easier to dodge. SRF Gaming, yeah, I'm going to take that into consideration, man. I know, Freddy, I know. Not everyone uses better team TV, better to TV. It's okay, potato. It's okay. I forgive you. Taking it slow, back to slow. Make sure we give enough time for our shield to regenerate. Oh, this is kind of a bug right here. But I'm going to steal it. I'm taking it. Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. What's going on? Oh, I gotta get up here. I gotta rush up here through this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I made it! Holy crap. Oh, I got lucky. Next time, right, Azardus? Next time. I know Code Matrix, I know. Oh no! I know Code Matrix, I know. In fact, I'm going full screen. I don't, I don't want to misclick something. Well, I just took my first bit of damage. Yeah, give me a second, kitty. Give me a second. Somebody wanted to see the game. I gotta play it. I gotta play it. Alright, so we gotta get back through here. I was looking for some free gear. I didn't get lucky, though. We didn't find any. Didn't find any loots. Didn't find any fat loots. But that's okay. Oh, it's okay. Fraud word bot? Help. <laughs> oh no! We have taken some damage, right? get through this. I'm gonna get through this. If there's an enemy on the other side of this screen. There's not. Okay, there is. Oh, I can't jump these. Oh, ah! oh crap. Oh, I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead, guys. We'll pull another name here in a second. This is like the furthest I've ever gotten in my own game. I'm, uh, I'm rebel. Oh, no! We died! Oh, no! Oh, no, but look at that, guys. I killed 20 enemies. Oh, yes! Yes! That was so good. I feel good about that one. Alright. Let's pull a name, guys. So there's the game, guys. There's the game. There's our pre-alpha. Go play it if you want. Go play it if you want. It's far from finished, Anderson. That's, uh, that's good stuff, right? That's good stuff. We're on the right track is what it means. And uh, hopefully we're going to keep making the game even more fun. All right, guys. Here we go. Good luck. Last winner. Thanks, you, Danny, made my night. Oh, anytime, Porter. Anytime, buddy. 
Uh, last roll for the night, guys. So good luck, everyone. Here it is. Here it is. Who is it going to be? It's going to be... Oh, my God. Ark... Angel Artemis. Are you out there, dude? Are you out there? 90 seconds, say something in chat, or we re-roll on you. Right there, Kitty. You just go click that link, go download the game, go have fun with the game. Leave us comments on the game. Leave us back some comments. One second, everybody. It's that rigged raffle. Rigged. Rigged, Artemis. What game would you like, Artie? What game would you like? Everybody's a winner. Everybody's a winner. Does not matter. It's all about them rigged raffles. <laughs> What's it gonna be, Artemis? If Artemis doesn't respawn in the next 60 seconds, I'm gonna give him a uh, mountain. I'm gonna give him a copy of Mountain, guys. Sorry, Anderson. I'm sorry. Give me that. You are not a banana. Oh my god, Artemis. Alright, Artemis. Uh, this is how this works. This is how this works. And you're gonna hate me. Because I know you will. Even though I have this somewhere, I need your email, Artemis. I need your email. Go check your Twitch messages, Artemis. Uh, I just sent you one. Go check your inbox and both your other box. Find my message, respond to it with your email address, and I'll Steam email you your game. That's how that works. Them's the rules. Go do that, and I'll send this off. Potato, I gotta check my email again. I'm scared to check my email from you now. I'm scared to go check my email. Okay, whoa, what the heck is going on, potato? <laughs> okay, hold on. This is a we need some fun messages in here. Uh D sends D for the D. Space hack, space hack's cool game too. Alright. Uh, uh, potato, right on, potato. Right on. There's a few more games here, guys. I'm gonna get all these games in here while we wait on... While we wait on Artemis to send me his email. And, uh, send him his game. We're gonna be raffling these games off tomorrow, though, guys. These games are gonna be raffling off tomorrow. I'm not done yet. There's more games. We got some dead bits coming as well. Some super dead bits coming from, uh, Potato. And one more game. One more donation from Chirpy Potato. Guess what it is, guys. Guess what it is. That's right. It's another copy of Bioshock Triple Pack. This one's from Pyro, though. Pyro, thank you so much for uh, donating a copy of uh, Bioshock. We gave one away two minutes ago. We'll give this one away tomorrow. That will be a lot of fun. That'll be a lot of fun. I'm sure it'll be the first item uh, picked up again. Let me uh, go send off Artemis his video game. His, uh, what what you want again? Uh, you are not a banana. All right, finally somebody is man enough to play. You are not a banana. Artemis, go check your email. Steam's gonna be sending you one. Grab your game, collect your game, have fun with your game. Don't let it sit in my gift library. All right, guys, that was the last raffle. I'm gonna close all of this stuff down because, uh, you know, that's what we do. That's what we do. You rock, Pyro. If you're out there, Pyro, good, 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 uh, good stuff, man. Mm, Pyro, getting that last word in for the night, everybody. All right, guys. So that's the end of the stream for tonight. 
Uh, I'm pretty happy. My dedicated streaming setup is uh, mostly working. We don't have any more video problems. Uh, I do have uh, some audio stuff I need to fix, but that's minor stuff, right? Minor stuff. So I'm very, very happy. Dedicated audio system going. I can start doing some cool stuff with that now. But uh, we're in for the night, guys. Come back tomorrow. We'll be doing more raffles. You saw that there's another Bioshock going off in the uh, in the gift library. We'll raffle that off tomorrow. Uh, and either tomorrow or Saturday, like I said, we'll be working on some tools, some tools for uh, our dialogue tree creation. So uh, come on back. Come on back. But until then, guys, I hope you have a beautiful night, a wonderful afternoon, and a glorious evening. Until next time.